Hello, a beautiful day. Tianlet. Hello, how are you doing? Tianlet is gonna get super spoiled. Oh no, wait, you know the game. Never mind. <laughs> a wild summy has appeared. Yes, a wild summy has appeared. Friday is still my free day. I work from Mondays to Thursdays, so we can start a little bit earlier on Friday. And yes, Hugenbrun, I hope you will enjoy Greece. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, wait, let me... Unfortunately, my belly has been acting up since yesterday. Mm. Mm. Yeah, four day work week. Um, <coughs> so I need to drink some tea instead of coffee, unfortunately. Like, it's not just that I need to drink tea instead, I actually have to abstain from coffee for, I guess, three days or so. Feels really bad, man. But yeah, I'm like, basically, a lot of... Um, air is coming out of my belly whenever I eat something or drink coffee or and then together with my allergic uh, asthma like my allergic uh, you know it's uh, it's pretty bad so yeah I need to abstain and drink some tea I got corona from touching my face. It's not corona. Oh, you won it from a streamer friend. That's amazing, Sutenbird. Yeah, it is really pretty. And yeah, also burbs. Mm. I don't think it was solely the coffee channelette since... You know, I've been drinking coffee for a long time. Um, but when you have belly issues, coffee is definitely um, coffee is is definitely not good because it, it can attack the what is it called in English the the belly skin inside skin. Uh, I guess it was a mix, probably. Um, like the thing is, I already realized the recent days that I didn't have much of an appetite. Uh, Magenschleimhaut. <laughs> That's what it's called in German. But uh, yeah, the... Um, but yeah, basically I didn't have an appetite uh, the last years. And the last years, the last days, I didn't have much of an appetite, which is already always a sign of something going on with your belly. Um, and then yesterday, <laughs> years, no, and then yesterday what I ordered was way too much. I was so hungry though, because I, because I did have not much of an appetite, I didn't eat as much the last days and... Uh, yesterday what I ordered was wasn't good like like a lots of air came from my belly up and I also uh, got like belly ache and then I was freezing a little bit and then I went to bed just straight to bed and slept and I did feel better t this morning but I'm still like there's still air coming out of my belly mm. So yeah, I need to be a little bit careful with what I eat and what I drink right now. Um, but usually, like, it's probably, I, th I guess it's called probably gastritis in English too. Gastritis? Gast but I have no idea how you would pronounce it in English. But that is the medical term, is gastritis. And usually, like, if you just take care, don't eat shit, for like usually it's gone after three days or so that's so that's what I'm gonna do now but yeah it means no coffee for three days no not intestine it seems uh uh gastritis is also uh 
it's an incineration of the belly skin. I don't know, but let me actually see what uh, that is called in English. Uh, oh, it's called stomach lining. Or the medical term would be gastric mucosa. Stomach lining or stomach mucosa or stomach mucosal lining. Uh, and that's probably incinerated. That is probably my issue currently. Yeah, gastric, my gastric linings are probably currently, well, incinerated or maybe just, uh, one second. Yeah, or maybe just irritated, right? We are now tea weeps. No, we are not tea weeps. We're not dogmatic. You don't have to drink coffee, but you don't you don't advertise against coffee. All right. Hey, trigger a beautiful day to you. Nice to hear. I'll also have to see. Uh, I know how much longer the game is. My voice might die at a point because, as I said, because like I'm like again <laughs> because I have to gulp all the time that actually affects my voice too and and it's like a weird circulatory effect where like the air is coming up and I don't know my di voice dies earlier heartburn no no it's not heartburn it's come it's from my belly and it's also not acid like it doesn't burn it doesn't burn, it's just air coming up out of my belly. That's all. It doesn't burn at all, luckily. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> no, we just talked about it. It's probably my uh, stomach linings trigger. They are irritated right now. Oh, right. I'm only now noticing that cursor. It's not messing me up though because uh, you know I have like I have the chat zoomed in right to so it's easier to read which means the cursor is for me totally not an appropriate size but but it is pretty hilarious also the positioning of it All right, here we go. Oh, there it is. I was like, where's my water? This is it. Yes, are you ready, chat? I'm hella excited too. I'm hella excited too. The ultimate despair. A group of people who caused the tragedy one year ago. Those same people put together the skilling game and began broadcasting it around the world. The most desperately awful group of people ever. That is the mastermind's true identity. Our enemy has finally been revealed. But right now... Right now, we have to get out of this horrible place. Figuring out the rest of the story can come after. Yeah, you're right. We have a way to open this door. Or her key. Kyoko, do you still have that one thing? Monokuma's secret tool that you got from the headmaster's room? Of course I do. It's an absolute vital part of ensnaring the mastermind. I would never part with it. It can o open any door in the school, right? Then we should be able to use it on that door, right? Hey Kyoko, we can use that key of yours to open this door, right? It's true. Let's find out. Kyoko took out the key with the Monokuma design on it and slid it into the keyhole, and then... Yes, it opened. Indeed. And now we can get out of here. Let's go. Sounds good. We quickly opened the door and made our escape from the garbage pit. 
finally, we were finally free. But hasn't Makoto now, uh, he slept outside of the dorm. So he did break a rule. So Monokuma can execute him now. Right? Air horns? Because one of the rules said you're not allowed to sleep outside of your room, so... And he did definitely sleep. But on the other hand, there are no cameras on the trash pit, so... Maybe Monokuma can't prove that he slept there. We are finally free, but there wasn't even time to take a breath of relief, because the real fight had just begun. After leaving the garbage pit, we found ourselves in a tunnel extending straight up like a chimney. There was a metal ladder leading up into the tunnel. Yeah, ultimate execution. We started climbing the ladder intent on reaching the surface. The ladder was impossibly long. I couldn't even see where it ended. We climbed into darkness. The passage was so dark and cramped, I couldn't even see my own feet beneath me. Uh, Milo is John. Milo is John. Is that the name? Welcome to the stream. Nice to hear. I, I assume you, you know the game. We've just, we've just started the final chapter. I'm playing for the very first time. That angle? Oh, damn. You, you're right. I need to continue. <laughs> but, you know, the devs did some clever shading there. I had no idea we were so far down. Don't lose your footing. If you slip, I won't be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll be careful. But now that you said that, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe talking will help me m my keep my mind of it. Uh, so Kyoko, there's something I wanted to ask you. You said you're the ultimate detective, right? So how long have you been doing detective work? How long? Ever since I can remember. I came from a long line of detectives. Detective work is in my blood. There was a time when being a detective was considered a sacred duty. My family's always seen it that way. Then, is your family fi famous? Quite the opposite, actually. Even among actual detectives, many people haven't heard of us. Huh? But how come? It's like your family tradition, right? So... Because we take pride in it. Pride. A detective is neither light nor shadow. Oh, damn, Milo. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm like... Uh, I've heard about the series already like a very long time ago and it was like on my list for very long but uh, I haven't like ever played it or watched it before. I know I've like a few years ago I watched like a tiny bit of one of the games but I don't even remember which game it was like that that's all that's all I knew but I'm really loving this game so far like I mean so far we're, we're at the final chapter so no, I, I guess I can pretty surely say at this point that I really like the game. Fun, fun fact, in the Danganronpa anime, uh, episode 8, Tina slaps Byakuya, which I find satisfying for her Byakuya bully Chihiro in chapter 2. Uh, yeah, I never watched the anime either. <laughs> but I wonder, like... No, I guess she didn't slap... Byakuya, but when you when you when I wrote uh, when I when I read Hina slaps Byakuya, I was like, wait, didn't something like that happen in the game too? But I guess there wasn't actually. I mean, Byakuya deserves it no matter what. And Sakura lived happily ever after. No, she didn't. Oh God, Sudenbird, did you miss it? Did you miss? Did you miss Sakura's death? Yeah, Sakura is dead, Sutenbrut. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She actually suicided. Uh, but she was the best waifu. Hmm, I'm not sure what you mean. 
Uh, also, uh, welcome to the stream. My name is Celeste uh, or Celestia. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. I, I, I fear there's spoilers in there, so I'm not gonna think too hard about it. Like, right? <laughs> okay. You represent neither justice nor evil. That is how we can uncover the absolute truth. And thank you for the follow, Milo. Milo. What is wrong with my tongue today? God damn it. I guess it's because I'm streaming earlier than usual. Oh yeah, the hydrate, the hydrate is just for me to drink. And chapter two, which I already beat, I met at Byakuya over... I mean, what did he do in particular in chapter two? Oh! Oh right, of course. Yeah, no, I remember now. Of course, he messed. He he set it up as the as the genocide Jack uh, murder case. You better start the day by practicing tongue twisters. Yeah, maybe I should do that. Yeah, no, you're right. That was ridiculous. Funnily enough, like when that happened during the trial, I was like, also like, this makes no sense. Why would you mess with the um? with the murder scene like that. But now I kind of get Byakuya as a character better. He's still a ridiculous character, but I kind of get him better as a character. Uh, so now thinking back at it, I'm like, yeah, that's just Byakuya. But he still deserves everything, like every slap, everything. Oh, did he? Okay, I didn't remember him saying that to Chihiro. Sleepy, hey, a beautiful date to you. All right, let's 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 press on. We stand neutral in all things, and to do that we have to stand separate from the rest of society, which is why we've made a conscious effort to conceal our existence. A conscious effort? It's, true. it's kind of old-fashioned, and I can't say it's entirely rational. That's our family creed, and we do what we must to protect it. Because, like I said, it's our source of pride. Pride. So that explains... Before I came here, when I was looking up, when I was looking up info about the school online, I never saw anything about her. Because she hid herself on purpose to protect the pride of her family. However. And yet, I gave up some of that pride. Huh? I... In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself to the school. I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. But the reason you gave up that pride, the reason you would go so far to enter Hope's Peak, it was because that's how much you wanted to reconnect with your dad, right? There's no shame in that. What? Reconnect? I had absolutely no desire to reconnect with my father. Huh? But, but, but you'd be reuniting after all those years, right? You would have had so much to talk about. Wrong. There's nothing I want to talk to my father about. There's something I want to say to him, though. What? I... No matter what it takes, I have to find him and tell him face to face. What is it? So... I want to severe all ties with him. Severe? The last time I saw him, I was still very young, so I don't remember myself, but apparently he was extremely intelligent. He was in line to become the next head of the Kirigiri family. He was talented, he had a promising fu future, but he had no interest in detective work. So he cut himself off from the family. Not long after that, my mother died and he simply ran away. He went to my grandfather father, and they had a huge argument and young as I was, he left me behind. I I'm sure there was a reason for that. I'm sure your dad wanted to take you with him. Right. If that's true, then I need to thank him. Thank him for leaving me because unlike him, I take pride in the work I do. I take pride in my family name. So every last part of me is happy he didn't take me with him. If I had gone with him, I never would have had the chance to become a detective. I was above Kyoko on the letter, so I wasn't able to see her expression. So I couldn't tell, I couldn't see how she looked when she said that, what she might have been feeling. All I could tell was that compared to her usual self, she was more talkative and more emotional. I don't blame him, you know? He had his own life to live. That's what anyone in my position might say, right? But it's not true. But there's one thing, one thing that I can never forgive. Really. So... The way everyone else looked at me. 
I was never sad about being left behind. Like I said, I think it was a good thing. But when the rest of my family looked at me, they saw something different. They only saw me as the little girl that was abandoned by her father. That's how they see me even to this day. His shadow has been following me my entire life. I'm sick of it. I need him out of my life. I need to step out of his shadow. That's why I have to find him and tell him we're no longer family in order to settle the past, in order to remove him from my life forever. I have no doubt he forgot about me years ago. But, but, you are family. To just cut him out like that. <clears throat> that letter <clears throat> makes me anxious just looking at it. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't be something for me either. I, I have a fear of hate, so that would be rough for me too. How are you gonna get this Kirigiri murdered? Wait, you mean her? We don't want to kill Kyoko. Or do you mean her father? We don't. also don't know if her father is the mastermind or not. I think current theory is actually that one of the students is the mastermind. Our only connection is through blood. Nothing more. Are we connected by heart and soul? No. Is blood really enough to call someone family? Only connected by blood, not by heart or soul. I was so shocked to hear her say something like that. I didn't know how to respond, so instead I said nothing. Oh, I just, yeah, I just mispronounced it, uh, Celestia. I believe Byakia said to Chihiro something similar to we're not friends here um, and if you have nothing substantial to say be quiet. Oh yeah 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 you're right he definitely did say that I do remember that. that. I do remember that. But I mean Byakia is just a bully this whole time always. I just kept climbing the ladder in complete silence. I mean, I don't think anyone is really a Byakuya fan. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and after I don't know how long, we finally reached the top. Looks like this is it. On the other side of the store, Hope's Peak is waiting for us. We're back. Remember that hatch on the ground near the trash room? I'm fairly certain that's where we'll come out. I unlocked it earlier, so it should open without much trouble. Well, here's nothing. I reached my right hand up and pushed against the hatch. The hatch opened with ease, and so... Looks like we're back. But I can't believe how long that letter was. I'm exhausted. I can't exactly say we're safe and sound, but at least we're out of here. Now we're back in Hope's Peak Academy. Kyoko, thank you. Never would have gotten out of there without you. No thanks necessary. I was just returning the favor. Violence doesn't solve anything, though, Celestia. <laughs> Wait, who's Chiaki? Who's Chiaki? Yeah, I like... I like my... I liked Sakura the most too. Oh, I haven't played Dungan Rumper too, so I have no idea. Violence would solve my craving to see Byakuya get punched. <laughs> I guess that is true. I don't hate Byakuya to be honest. What I honestly like at the start. 
I don't know, he turned out as a better character than expected, I guess, but he's still pretty much a very stereotypical, like, arrogant, rich kid type of character. But I don't hate him. I think Hina is pretty boring. Still can't believe she's still alive. But who knows, maybe she's the mastermind and has like a crazy turnaround. Byakuya and Hiro are the only... What makes you say that Byakuya is a non-anime character? I agree a little bit with Hiro, but I don't agree with Byakuya at all. I, I think... I th like... I think Byakuya is very stereotypical. Like, that dude that's like purely rational, doesn't show any emotions, is super... and doesn't care about emotions, is super arrogant. You know, I think it's very stereotypical. <laughs> Just a stereotypical jerk, okay. Not really an anime stereotypical, I don't know. Hmm. Hifumi was annoying? Yes. Hifumi was annoying. But he, uh, but it did change, like Hifumi, I remember Hifumi being very annoying at the start, so annoying that I was like, please kill him. But, um... Later on, actually, he was alright. Yeah, I guess I had some sympathy for him for me just for liking video games and 2D. <laughs> so now, what do we do? I'm glad I didn't die, of course, but if the mastermind finds out, and I'm wor worried about you too, you helped me, so they might... You're worried? Yeah, of course. Then let's just get a concrete answer, huh? Let's ask Munakuma if there's a problem with you escaping. Wait, that's... If we try to hide, it's only a matter of time till we're found out, and it's not like we can run away. As she said that, she pointed at the nearby surveillance camera. So you're saying rather than stressing out over getting caught, we should just give up now? Don't worry, what you think is going to happen isn't, because the mastermind is the one that's ensnared. The mastermind is ensnared. You said something like that before, what does it mean? The mastermind stood exposed during the investigation into Mukuro's death. There was a moment where the mastermind let their guard down. There was? If we can talk to Monokuma, we can confirm it. It will be better for us if we go to him directly before he tracks us down. That should help with our negotiations. Still a little... no super uneasy about this. But we don't really have a choice, do we? Monokuma should be in the gym. Let's get going. Noriyuki! Yes! Since I don't work Fridays. Sakura had no death as a character? Yeah, okay. I don't like... Okay, here's the thing. I don't like Sakura's character development because there was none. And that's also why I'm saying Byakuya turned out as a better character than expected because there is a little bit character development for Byakuya. Um, but just the design of Sakura's character, just the design, you know, just a true gem. Like, just the composition of what she looks like, what kind of character she has. I mean, they, all the characters here are kind of bland, let's be real. Like, the only one that isn't is maybe Toko, because she has two personalities. All characters are well designed here? I don't know. I guess I can't fully judge yet, because we haven't come to the conclusion of the story yet. So there is still some character development potential. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is maybe Toko isn't bland, because she has, like, these two personalities, but... The two personalities by themselves... Yeah... Hmm. I 
I don't remember the last names. I don't know. Was Ishimaru... Was that Mondo? Or was it Leon? Kyoko, I don't mind so much. But Makoto's supposed to be dead! What is he doing here? That's exactly how I thought he'd react. Otaka! Yeah. I mean, Taka's character is at the same time stereotypical and one of the characters that doesn't make sense to me. Like, the ultimate moral, moral student, right? Does such a person really exist? <laughs> I don't know, it like, I don't know, it feel, that feels actually super bland. That does actually feel super bland. Yeah. But uh, what was cute about it was the um, bromance, uh, bromance between Taka and Mondo. Well, I guess like overall size doesn't mean you can't scream loud. Doesn't mean your lungs are tiny. But yeah, I get what you're saying. Are you really gonna be okay? You were supposed to be punished. Did Kyoko help you? So what if I did? What will you do? If the guilty party is exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. It's unfortunate, but that is the rule. So now I gotta punish you again. And this time I won't leave anything to chance. Kyoko, do whatever you feel you have to. What? But before I do, let me just say one thing. If you execute Makoto, that means you lose. Not that that matters to you, right? I lose? You explain yourself, what do you mean by that? Because well, you set up this last, latest class trial yourself, right? I was getting in your way, so you wanted an excuse to kill me. I was supposed to be chosen as the black and then executed, right? Hey, what are you talking about? But when Makoto chose to overlook my lie, your plan came crashing down. The results of the trial weren't at all where you were, what you were expecting. Because you never imagined that in that position one person would predict another like that. In the response to that unexpected development, you reacted by proclaiming Makoto the black man and trying to execute him. You made the choice out of desperation. No more than that. He must have realized that Makoto who refused to be manipulated was a threat to you as well. But then there was another unexpected development waiting for you. Kyoko uses bluff, it's super effective. <laughs> yeah. An entity that would throw a wrench, so to speak, in your precious execution machinery. Alter Ego. You never imagined the possibility of a being that could come to our aid even after you'd killed it. Now, here's the absolute truth. Makoto didn't call Makuro. You did. So executing Makoto for it would surely be a violation of your rules, which I know you love so much. If the blackened is exposed, they alone will be executed. That's what you told us, right? Hmm, that means I lose? You talk a big game. You're saying the blackened is me and not Makoto? And you can prove this, right? No, I can't. Don't just say it like that. What is this, a comedy routine? To make such bold claims without a shred of evidence. I don't have any right, any right now, but with a little more time, I guarantee I find some. Because no matter how deeply you try to bury it, there is only ever one absolute truth. And now you're trying to talk like some kind of famous detective type? If Makoto really was the killer, he never would have come to you willingly like this. He would have never, he would have feared for his life, feared another execution. He would have tried to run and hide. He would have been gripped by the despair you so love to inspire. But here we are, confronting you with nothing but hope in our hearts. And that's supposed to be enough to convince me in the absence of evidence? It's not you I'm trying to convince. If you were to execute Makoto now, everyone out there watching this would be extremely displeased. Huh? Imagine what everyone out there would think if you killed Makoto. They would assume that you killed him because what we said is exactly right. Despair can never kill hope. Of course you can say we're just making this all up. You're welcome to prove us wrong. No, you have no choice but to prove it, because if you kill Makoto without proving your own innocence, you'll be accepting your own defeat. If you want to earn our despair fair and square, 
then I suggest you take my advice. So what is this advice of yours? To do Mikura's trial over again. Only this time you follow the school regulations to ensure a fair trial. It's time for... Well, that would make for a proper climax, wouldn't you say? A fair trial, one last showdown, in other words, this would be our chance to expose the true identity of Mukuru's killer, of the mastermind themselves. But what reason would the mastermind have to accept the challenge? Did I say it different, Celestia? I am saying Mukuru, right? They'll probably just execute me without another word. <laughs> interesting. Barry. Very interesting indeed. Barry. Oh, I was getting bored, so I decided to change things up a little, so time for bear jokes. Now, what you suggested might be possible. It would certainly make for one honey of a climax. Does that mean you accept? If we do things your way, that will be enough to convince you and the viewers, right? And it would cause you unbearable despair, right? And I'm prepared to agree to your terms. <laughs> yep, the final trial is coming up. Will your hope win out or will my despair claim victory? Let's have one final grisly showdown. He agreed. Let me still have a shot at this. I can't even imagine what that sounded like then, Celestia, because if I if I had made the second view silent, it would be Mukro. Mukro. <laughs> right? Who's Toad? Oh, you mean like a frog. I'm sounding like a frog. But this is the long-awaited climax, right? Just guessing the killer is barely a fitting end. So for this final face-off, you'll have to unearth all the mysteries that have been buried here. All the mysteries? That's right! Every last mystery that's pawing around the school, if you can do that. Then, that will be enough to qualify as a victory for you. That's what we've been trying to do all along. But that's what I'm saying, Celestia. I am saying Mukuru. Mukuru. Like, it doesn't matter though. Like, the thing is also you're trying to teach me the pronunciation, writing it in English uh, pronunciation, but I'm not even a native English speaker. So, us trying to figure, and it's not as, it, and on top of that, it is a Japanese name with Japanese uh, pronunciation. So, it, it, this whole pr pronunciation discussion, the context of it doesn't make sense, right? That's what we've been trying to do all along. Okay, well good, then let's bear it all. If you can claw your way to the truth of Makura's death and solve the mysteries of this school, then you win. But if you can't do that, I'll, I'll, can't do all of that. We'll all face execution, right? Hey, <laughs> I can barely contain my excitement. When you learn the whole truth, what kind of despair, despair will you show me? We're as excited as you are, I'm sure. When we've uncovered every last truth, how will the dis ultimate despair reveal their own despair? I honestly can't believe how this has all turned out. But before we get started, I want to clarify one more thing. Do you remember the rule? When one student kills another, that's when a class trial is held. What's wrong? I remember that, for sure, so what? I just want to confirm, confirm that is what you said, right? It's a true statement. Yeah, that does mean one of the students is the mastermind. Because one of the students killed Mukuru.
Oh, I know now what you mean, Celestia. You think I'm I'm pronouncing it not long enough. It should be more like mukuru, mukuru. And I'm saying it a little bit, but I do think it's actually correct that the second one is shorter. At least that's also how they say it in game. I still bet on one of the chickens being the mastermind. You don't have to be so suspicious. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Everything is based on the school regulations, and having a trial for Makura is no exception to that. Huh? Makura's trial is no exception? Then it's part of the regulations, which would have to mean that whoever killed Makura... It's a very polarizing approach, I know. But okay, enough pants. Anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single stab in Hope's Peak since the killing game began are those 16 students. What? Are you telling the truth? Why'd you go quiet all of a sudden? I'm done talking, I got nothing left to say to you. So get lost, would ya? Why so mad? He seems emotionally unstable. Leave me alone! Get out of here! Uh, okay, I'm going, I just... You really gonna let me go? Hmm, I don't even care anymore. You're all gonna get your punishment later anyway. I need to start getting it ready. A super duper extra special punishment overflowing with despair. Come on, Makoto. Let's go. Hey, green potato. Nice to hear again. I'm not... Yeah, I, I was about to say I'm not gonna read what Celestia wrote there. Please keep in mind I'm playing the game for the very first time. If you have played the game, don't put theories in chat, please. Like, if you haven't played the game, then you could put, can put in your, your theories. If you have played the game, please no no theories, no hints whatsoever, no spoilers. I didn't read it though because it was very long and it started with "what if," so I I I, I didn't read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a it is a difficult game to stream without spoilers because so many people obviously already have played and watched it. Monokuma's unstable laughter seemed to cling to us as we walked away. And just like that, we were out of the gym. I could hardly believe it, but somehow I ended up not getting executed. <laughs> One of the masters was Monokuma himself. Yeah, I think we already dismantled that, like, literally, because we dismantled Monokuma. I still had my life and we still had a chance. Overall, things turned out way better than expected. Once again, I was in Kyoko's debt. Kyoko, thank you. Everything I have right now is because of you. Don't thank me just yet. The real battle is still ahead of us. Yeah, true. I think the mastermind is Marge Simpson controlling Monokuma. <laughs> very good, very good. Here's what I think. I think the mastermind is Marge Sim is, uh, is Twitch chat controlling Marge Simpson to control Monokuma. But still, I'm glad it worked out. I wasn't sure if the enemy would accept my proposal. But honestly, why would the mastermind agree to that? I mean, they don't stand to gain anything from a final showdown, do they? They had no choice but to accept, huh? It's all because of that one moment that the mastermind let down their guard, like I said. So when was it that the mastermind let their guard down? I wasn't there to hear it myself, but do you remember what the mastermind said? 
They, they said they had hijacked the airwaves to bro broadcast our school life to the outside world, right? Yeah, they definitely said that. And what did you think when you heard that? Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, I mean the idea of actually taking over the airwaves seems so unbelievable. You don't exactly read about something like that happening very often, so it's hard to imagine. In other words, that kind of thing is extremely difficult to pull off. And yet somehow, the mastermind was able to do it. But think of it another way. There must have been some reason they had to do something that difficult. A reason. They had to show the world something, no matter the cost, us killing each other. They wanted to show the world. The mastermind has been very adamant about not killing us directly, but forcing us to kill each other. And all their rules and regulations were designed to encourage that. Yeah, that makes sense. If those stupid regulations didn't exist, no exist, nobody would have killed anybody. So the mastermind's ultimate goal was to make us kill each other and show that off to the world. But why? To prove a point, most likely. Prove a point. The outside world has a name for the students of Hope's Peak, right? A certain concept. Talking about hope, right? And for those of us who represent hope to kill each other and sink into despair, the mastermind wants the world to see that to try and prove that despair is better than hope. That's their goal as the ultimate despair. What? They want to prove that despair is better than hope? But that that's ridiculous. You're right, it is ridiculous, completely irrational. It's the kind of thing that nobody but those who call themselves the ultimate despair would devise. That group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. But, but is that really their only reason for making the rest of us suffer? I know how angry it must make you, and yet, that same motivation is what led to the mastermind revealing their weakness. What? Because their goal is to broadcast this killing game to the world. The mastermind has had to be more particular than an, uh, is reasonable about their own regulations. If the mastermind simply ignored the rules, this wouldn't have been a game, but a one-sided slaughter. At least that's how those who are watching this would have seen it. And that's, why the, and that's why the mastermind couldn't kill any of us themselves. That is precisely the reason. No matter how much they may hate what I'm doing, I haven't violated a single one of the regulations. Junko broke the rules, so she was punished, but in my case, they couldn't lay a finger on me. So instead, they tried to use the class trial following all their proper rules to get me killed. You're trying to debate me with that arrow, King Snaker. Jeez, I, I missed quite a bit of chat. Oh, Apes was the mastermind the whole time? Yeah. Who's Ann Takamaki? I think Sudenbird is referring to Ann from Persona, right? Yeah. Um But I guess I mean the the uh the tails did did fit Anne. But yeah, Junko Junko died very early. And seemed way girlier than Anne. Anne was more a little bit more of the buddy type. They began a trial that didn't have a right answer that made me out to be the killer. But even that didn't work. Yes, thanks to you. And due to that failure, the mastermind took yet another risk. They attempted to kill you instead, who also was not the killer. And when that fact was exposed on live TV to the entire outside world, the mastermind had to accept your suggestion? To prove to the world that despair is better than hope, they have to defeat us in perfect form. It would only do the mastermind harm to have it shown that they had violated their own regulations. But all that was a hunch, right? And we were still able to get the mastermind to accept your challenge. Well, it's only thanks to you that we got that chance, because you believed in me. Another path opened up. Still, I can't believe how much of the mastermind's thoughts and plans we were able to figure out. I didn't have the slightest clue. In the end, though, I couldn't prove any of it. It was just my reasoning. Essentially, I was making a bet. I mean, still, Apes. Eh? 
But looks like I got it right. This time at least I won the bet. She let out as quick uh, she let out a quick sigh. I took it as a small sign of relief. To be honest, I haven't been that nervous in a long time. I totally couldn't tell you were nervous at all. You seemed totally confident from the moment we decided to go talk to him. Well, presenting a strong manner is a fundamental part of negotiation and persuasion, wouldn't you say? Plus, if I'd shown my uneasiness, that would have just made you that much more uneasy. Yeah, you're probably right. How pathetic. Anyway, we can't relax just yet. All we've done is earn another chance to fight. We have to win this time. Or everything we've gone through will have been for nothing. You're right. We can't defeat the mastermind, it will cost us our lives. There is no option except to win. But before we begin the final battle, we have to tell the others what's going on. True, but now we know who our real enemy is. All we have to do now is work together with everyone to destroy the mastermind. Makaru, haven't you listened? One of the students is the mastermind. Work together with everyone. Is that really possible? Huh? Anyway, right now we have to go find the others. They're probably in the dorm somewhere. Shall we go? Ding. Makoto's dumb. Give him a break. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, wait. Okay. I guess then. We shall teleport. Before we teleport, we shall save the game. But if one of the students is the mastermind, how can you do the class trials? It's not like my, it's not like Murakuma is saying that much during class trials, right? Most of the time Murakuma is just sitting there silently. I don't think it would be that impossible to control Murakuma at the same time. Also, I'm kind of thinking that Monokuma is not just being controlled, but is also some sort of AI. I mean, look at Chihiro's AI on a fucking old laptop, right? It's definitely a thing in this game, so I feel like Monokuma could be like a mix of a contro controlled AI too. Yeah, don't forget this is anime, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, Apes, you are definitely uh, you are definitely on a, a disadvantage um, in regards of that. Watching more enemy helps. However, I can already tell that you uh, being part of the coffee weeps has changed you based on your assumptions now and earlier. Like you know, when I when I when I played Xenoblade Chronicles two. You were a complete anime virgin. <laughs> All your assumptions were far off. Just watch Jintama. <laughs> oh god. Uh, will you do Danganronpa 2 when you finish? Not right away, no. We're gonna... Uh, I'm gonna uh, play Final Fantasy VII Remake first. But I will definitely stream it eventually. But yeah. It is a good anime. Yes, it is. It is. And Darren, a beautiful day to you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy VII. I I'm gonna throw in a German phrase. Vorfreude ist die schönste Freude. Release the burps? I am not gonna release the burps, no. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh... You're gonna figure it out eventually, apes. German voice is better than the English voice? You, you mean Final Fantasy? I mean, to be fair, German uh, voiceovers are usually pretty high quality because we basically everything gets voiced here, but yeah. 
Okay, where am I? Let me open the map. Where am I actually supposed to go? Okay, Kyoko is somewhere here, so I guess... But where? Am I blind? Where's my lady Kyoko? What? It does show her here on the map, but I don't see her. Okay, let's check the dining hall, whatever. Uh, Crunchyroll... Uh, Crunchyroll is garbage when you're from Germany, uh, Kingsnaker. Crunchyroll? Like, I, it, it used to be good, but since they have, like, they have, like, close to no licenses for Germany. Like, I tried it, and you have literally, like, 20 animes available currently on Crunchyroll when you're from Germany. It's, it's super garbage when you're from Germany. Like, back, back in the days, way back in the days, before uh, Crunchyroll was a paid service, right? I used it too to watch animes. Yeah, but it's probably gonna be even worse for Finland, Kingsnaker, or a about as bad. Crunchyroll is, is really garbage f over here. You can watch Juntama's episodes. It could be that because Juntama is rather old that that one's actually not licensed anymore. But yeah, I remember like I tried I tried Crunchyroll again like a year ago or t like something like that and it's it's really garbage because you see all those animes and when you try like just because you see the episodes doesn't mean you can watch them apes. But as soon as you click it, it says, sorry, it's not available in your country. It's the same as like when on YouTube a video is not available. That's like even the, that's like the worst thing about it. You uh, subscribe to Crunchyroll and you don't even know how shitty, like how shitty it is for you. Because you see all those enemies, anime, animes, but when you try to watch them, it tells you, I'm sorry, this anime is unfortunately not available for your country. Yeah, it's a region lock. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because that how li it's how licensing works. They just didn't acquire the license for, for I, I don't know, Europe, Germany, whatever. Isn't there a website? I mean, Noriyuki, there are websites where you can watch anime for free. But it it isn't legal. Like, if the enemy was licensed in your country, then it is definitely illegal and somebody could sue you. If it never was licensed in your country, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, there are plenty pages to just watch anime for free illegally, definitely. Okay, Ips. yeah, it could be. Juntama is, is rather old, so this Juntama might definitely, might definitely, like, I don't even think you would need Crunchyroll to watch Juntama. I'm just saying, Crunchyroll in Europe seems to be garbage. Germany is just sucks, no offense. I don't think it's, it's just Germany. Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. Like, that's like... 
that's like serious copyright infringement. Unless it's like really an old anime that is not licensed, I can't show an anime on stream. You don't even have 14 Ost on Spotify? You mean Final Fantasy 14? What do you mean with 14? Because Final Fantasy 14 Ost is on Sp uh, Spotify. Hey, Asterellis, nice you here. Hmm. Okay, some we were greeted with. You again. I interesting. I see you broken. I suppose this emotional instability reached its limit. Jeez, what the heck? I wonder what was that all? What was what that all, all was about? I couldn't help but let out a sigh of relief. Ah. Oh. Hero is gonna go again like it's a ghost. You survived? Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? I'm just asking to make sure, but you're not a ghost, right? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was there, all my friends had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I couldn't help myself. I started to tear up. What? Wait, what's that smell? Yeah, man, that seriously stinks. It's Makoto. He smells like a wet dog. Get away, shoo, shoo. In a flash, my tears dried up. Yo, Yo Makoto. What was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. Did you get to talk to her? Who? Miss Cleo. No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. I mean, who the heck is Miss Cleo? I still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me either. Do you realize why it is you escaped execution? It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. Not too many people can say that they had their life saved by a computer program. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. So, what have you guys been doing while I was gone? Well, we figured that since the trial was over, we'd have access to new places again. And? No dice. All the rooms that were locked before were still locked. So, there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? New clues. And hey, Prince! A beautiful day to you! No, no, no. Of course you get a greeting. I read your first message about the quality options and I kind of thought you had been already here. And uh, I mean a beautiful morning to you, it's early for you. Uh, you, you stink, are you rotten? Rotten? Physically, mentally, every way you can be rotten. Sorry, I was rolling around in garbage for a while. This smell is so smelly. Super smelly. You smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. I win. She seems happy for some reason. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Explain. Explain what? But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the last class trial. Last class trial? We're going to redo Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? Maybe turn the lamp off to save electricity? I could... Honestly, I have that light most of the time on because it gives the, um, it actually improves in a way the lighting of the stream. The thing is, whenever I stream, I have extended electricity usage, of course, but I will show you still what I mean if I turn this light off. During this daytime, it's not as much, it doesn't have as much of an effect, but it kind of makes the light 
uh, more warm in this in the picture, right? Like now that it's off, you have like a colder. The background is cold, is in a colder color. Since it's daytime and the sun is shining outside, it's not that bad. But that's the main reason the the lamp always is turned on when I stream because, like, you can literally see how cold it looks, right? Green skin looks bad now with no lightning. No, no, Basti, that's not it. Like, I literally turn this lamp on behind me for stream because it makes the image warmer, right? Like, the, the, the wall behind me now looks super cold. And if I turn it back on, it, it's literally just for that. Also, yeah, like, on it will get dark and then I want some light in the room. If I turn it back on, the image is more colorful. The red of the jacket, it's, it's more colorful, it looks warmer. You don't have this cold blue whitish wall in the back. No worries, Naruki, not bothering. I, li I like I like chatting about all kind of stuff and explaining. Some explaining. Yeah, it, the, exactly. The, the simple answer is it does look better with the light turned on. <laughs> that is the simple answer and that's why it is turned on even though it's daytime. Okay. Uh, what's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? No, I didn't do it. Like, I keep telling you. Next time introduce lamp scent to us. <laughs> okay. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course it's not me or any of you. Th then who is it? What she's saying is, it was all the work of the mastermind. What? You're saying the mastermind killed Mukuru? That's right. That's right, it was all elaborate trap contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did what he had to do to stop it. However, but his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What did you, say? you spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy, I just, you know. However, but executing Makoto who wasn't the blackened is a clear violation of the school regulations. The rules state that only the blackened is to be executed. The master and broke their own rules. Which is why I went and negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. And the mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. Very observant of you. Naturally. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial, when you said, now it's the mastermind that's ensnared, that's what you were referring to. Don't be mean. Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. So knowing all this, what do we do now? It's about who killed Makuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind. But there's more to it than that, correct? Yeah. For us to win this time, we have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Every last mystery? But we've been looking around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway. We've probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no. Everyone! It was sad you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us. I'm fine with things the way they are. I'm fine living here forever with Master. I meanwhile want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway, at this point the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. In other words, one decides a final battle, a rather interesting development I'd say. But figuring out who the Mastermind is and how they've killed Makuru and all the school's mysteries? It's a pretty tall friggin' order. Maybe, but this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. I'm not so sure about that, huh? I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone. You can't agree? Why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. That's what I thought too, at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but... Okay, enough puns. Anyway, here's a hint. 
Guys, the hydrates don't stack. There's no point in using it multiple times. I'm sure I told you this already, but... This killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students, and the only people to take a single step in Hope Speak since the killing game began are those 16 students. We gotta burn these points, I guess. So yeah, one of the students is the mastermind. Like, independent on like... No, not independent. It doesn't matter whether the that mastermind student is with us right now or not, but we do know the mastermind is one of the 16 students. I see. All right, Testarellus. I, I think I ignored it because I had just drunk it before that. But Akuma said that, did he? Then Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. But why? If the mastermind really is the one who killed Makuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. Th then the mastermind is... There were 15 of us in the main... Th there were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Add in Makura and you get 16. So the mastermind would have to be one of them? And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Did I continue or do you get it now? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? You can't be serious. Wait, we can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse us. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among many. The master and being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we can't ignore. Yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair, so there must be a high schooler. You can't say it's not p possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they would have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Maybe they snuck off and controlled him in secret. I don't care how sneaky you are. They would have no we would have noticed someone sneaking off that many times. Then maybe Monokuma was an autopilot pilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. Well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible if they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Your new druid deck. Ah, uh, magic. I was about to say, what? You're playing Hearthstone? <laughs> You guess for the mastermind is Hina? I kinda ha I, like... You remember the fake ending we got, right? And I'm wondering how much truth is in the fake ending. Hina is shiny tits. Like, uh... The fake ending with when we pursued uh, Kyoko with her lie. And yeah, the swimmer girl. Well, like Shady Tits. <laughs> and Kitra, welcome to the stream. Nice to hear. And I wonder how much truth is in that. Because if the mastermind was in between them... They wouldn't have, like, got kids and everything, right? But what we also saw in that photo that Toko was actually dead for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> what is this, a hidden 16th stream? <laughs> it's not... This is, like, the least hidden stream, since it is Friday. Solheim, a beautiful day to you. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, 
in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it, Kidra. I really appreciate it. Playing it for the very first time. How oh, very magnanimous from him to unlock of him to unlock all the rooms. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. At this point, I can rely on myself, on the Togami blood flowing through my veins. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Well then, after making his final statement, Byakuya left the dining hall. Master, he didn't take me with him. Do you blame him? Without Master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream or coffee. You're totally useless. So bye. With that, Toko trudged out of the dining hall. And now she's gone. You're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? That's right. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. Wait, how come? Just wait and see, I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Mm. I guess I'd do the same thing. It's not that I don't trust everyone, you know? But up till now I haven't really been all that useful. I just depended on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Makoto! Mm, that's really nice of you to say. But still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. So I figure at least here at the end, maybe I can find something that will help us all, all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. Okay, see you later. I mean, but apes, I am with you that if it's one of those, one of them, then I like I kind of want it to be Hina because Hina is such a bland character, and her like turning out to be in fact like super crazy nuts would be a pretty nice twist. Oh, you mean you mean hero, Darren? Oh! The dorm- I didn't even think about the dorms rooms, Kingsnaker. Hina was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Yeah, the thing is with the photo and the alternative ending, it could mean that Toko was the mastermind. But I can't see Toko being the mastermind, kinda. And once again, it's just us two. Uh, yeah, I wanna play Danganronpa 2, but however, I will not play it right after because uh, uh, I wanna play the Final Fantasy VII Remake first. It's, it's laying there on the table and waiting to be played. <laughs> it's just us two, indeed. So, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it as us building up to cover more ground. And then we can get, get back together and share what we found. Yeah, that's right. So well, I'd better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Nakuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone, leaving only me. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together. I guess I'll start by taking another look at Makuro's Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. 
The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife which went completely through the body. They also had been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other runes, but these were at least several days old. Once they find out who killed Makuru Ikusawa, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start my investigation to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were locked up until now. The headmaster's room, the biolab, and the door in the data center with Monokuma's face on it. I went the second floor of the dorms where the gate was down before. That should be open now, right? After that I have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder, which means the garden and the dojo. Um... Yeah, I, again, Sleepy, I think you are right. Your theory was right of um, Mukuru having been killed. Um, I mean, it even says, still wondering how Mukuru died. Like, why was she killed? Like, initially, and later on the corpse Yeah, and later on the corpse was used to make us look suspicious. At least that's what it seems like, because, I don't know, Mukuru wouldn't have been alive somewhere in hiding, right? But yeah, let's see. Okay, we are gonna check Hina's, Hina's, Hina's room. We'll see if the dorm rooms are actually open. I mean, yeah, Kitra, I, we will check the body again. Yeah, no hints. Especially not yet. <laughs> King Snaker is even more, more worried from me being spoiled. So sweet. Um, like, if I'm stuck, then you can throw in a hint or so. But, like, besides that, just let me do, go do me. Toko's room, the door is unlocked. Oh, but he just won't go inside, okay. Where is Hina's room? This is Hina's room. I don't want to imagine what she'd do if I went in without telling her. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kidra. It's easier definitely for the people that haven't played the game because they can throw in hints. Like, if you, if you don't know, it's fine to throw in your own guesses. Hmm. I guess we're not gonna sneak into the room, so... God damn it! Yeah, no. Not allowed to enter any. The gate's open. We can finally check out the second floor of the dorms. Yep, we can't go there, which means I have to do it. This is the second floor of the dorms. It looks like some ancient ruins. Or no, it's more like a battlefield, like a bomb blew up here or something. Damn. The bat is completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even really a bat anymore. It's just garbage. I opened the door just to crack, glance inside, and immediately closed it again. There wasn't even a hint of a bathroom, just a big pile of rubble. It looks like my room. Wow. This is the girl's bathroom. Even in a place like this, I can't bring... Oh, come on. Jeez. Oh, this looks kind of pretty, though. I 
actually nothing to interact with. It's true segment, yeah, I mean, you're in a fucking killing game, have seen multiple corpses, still can't enter a girl's bathroom. Is it me or stream? I, if you're talking about, like, no fluctuations, no lags, no dropped frames, like, everything seems fine on my side, Kingsnaker. This room is filled with lockers. Must have been for the Hope Speak students who came before us. The class before ours must have used these lockers. I wonder if I can open this locker. Nope, locked. There's a cartridge installed on the door. That must be how you get the locker open. After all, it's pretty similar to the cartridges for the locker rooms on the second floor of the school. You should use your e-handbook to open those up, so does that mean... I'll just give it a try. I took out my handbook and run it across the cartridge and then... No luck. Maybe only the locker's owner can open it, which means none of us can do it. There's a metal plate mounted to the locker. There's no way to get it open. Yeah, who would do that? <laughs> I can't imagine any way to get this locker open. I'm not even gonna bother trying. Jeez, you can interact with all of them? Hmm. Yeah, right, Prince? What do they think uh, is gonna happen? Can't say banned words. Yeah, Kingsnaker, you you uh, successfully uh, averted crisis, so I'm very thankful. Everything is looking good. Oh, damn. This is the pirate. This is this is the mastermind's room, right? Or the headmaster's room? Oh, mm. Also, I see a hidden door there. This room doesn't feel really feel like a student's room. It has a more adult atmosphere. It's the headmaster's private room. Kyoko, I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. So I decided to check it out one more time. Huh? A regret? Huh, there's a strange gap in the wall. Is it some kind of design mistake or is it a construction defect or something? So... There's a gap here, but not just any normal gap. I can feel a breeze coming out. A breeze? There's likely an open space on the other side of this wall. Open space? Does that mean... You mean like a hidden room? I think I might know how to open it. You know how to open it? Did you figure out some kind of trick or something? A very easy trick, yes. Yeah. So easy, I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. I saw a program on that PC that I can uh, that I think controls it. Enter the right password and the door should open right up. However, but I don't have a clue what that password might be. All we know is it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. We can't really go from there. You're right. That's not nearly enough to go on. I looked throughout all through all his paperwork, all the files on the PC, everything I could think of. I learned more about him than I had any desire to, but nothing that might have been his password. Mm. And I think of how much time I've wasted on this. Huh. Tree hugger! Yeah, especially early for you, right? It's not that early for me, like over here, but, but is it now? Yeah, 4 p.m. So it's not that early. Password is probably password. Um. I'm still thinking, like, Kyoko is here for her father, the headmaster, but Monokuma said the headmaster isn't in the school, which means the owner of this room wouldn't be here, but this room looks pretty much in use, doesn't it? There's a PC on the desk, it must have belonged to the headmaster. Whoever used this last, it looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. The PC still has some search results left on it. They might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair? However, There's not much though, nothing we don't already know. 
The ultimate despair isn't one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. That group is responsible for the tragedy which happened one year ago. They are the worst sorts of people whose driving force comes from despair. And that's all there is. Not much to it, is there? But I guess that's the best he could do as a complete kir kirigiri failure. B but any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? I appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. I see. That's a good outlook to have. Jeez. So there's a hidden room she couldn't get into. That's what she meant by regret. I think we can assume that there must be some kind of clue waiting in there. But maybe for her there's more to it than that. Anyway, if we want to get in there we need to figure out the password. And if Yoko can't figure it out, no way do I stand a chance. No, wait, there might be a chance. The password could be something Kyoko wouldn't have thought of or something... Sorry, I was just trying to think of what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't tried it. I mean, it's totally understandable. After the way she talked about her dad, the idea that he would use her name as his password, knowing how she is, I bet the idea never even occurred to her. Mm, do you mind if I try it, just to be sure? Well. It's not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. Desk is home to a computer. It must have belonged to the headmaster. Wait, did he enter the password or not? You know, I'm glad I'm, th I'm glad I thought of trying Kyoko's name, but if that's not it, that might just hurt Kyoko even more. Hey. If you're worried about me, Makoto, don't be. I already know that your guess is wrong. Okay, in that case, here goes nothing. I collected myself, then turned to face the computer monitor. Let me just type the password here. I typed in her full name, Kyoko Kirigiri. My hands were tense, slightly trembling, and as I finished typing it in... Yeah, I'm... I know, for, for like... Most Americans, it's super early still. <laughs> what? That did it? Kyoko, it worked! Why? <laughs> Kyoko? That face of hers, she looks so dead. Without looking at me, she disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. East Coast? Very nice, very nice. Oh, yeah, oh god, I'm so sorry guys, I'm like, I'm usually more communicative, but like, I have I have a slight stomach ache. I still want to finish the game, but I'm not feeling so great today, to be honest. Now Americans know what I feel for Europeans to watch esports events held in America, 5am finals. Oh yeah, that can be super rough. Oh uh, yeah, Prince, I talked earlier about it, like since yesterday my, my belly has been working up a little bit. And like, I'm, lots of air is coming out and like, I feel a little bit nauseous in between. I shouldn't be drinking scotch every stream. Oh, okay. Hey, Kyoko? I may as well not even have been in the room. Her gaze was fixed on only one thing. <laughs> A present, wrapped and covered with such joy. That's what made it so unusual. Oh, God. I'd better check out that suspicious present before I do anything. But I wanna finish the game, apes. I know, I know you can wait. It's it's just, I wanna finish the game and yeah, we'll see. If it gets really bad, I will stop stream and just lay down. But it's also a good distraction. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But this is hilarious. It means like this Joker was supposed to go into come into this room. Uh Oh you like that and since yesterday and a little bit of stomach ache here and there. And a little bit feeling a little bit nauseous. So I just have to take care of like what I what I eat and drink for like a few days. Uh Oh, that definitely too, Kitra. That definitely too. But I mean, I am, I work as a software developer, so I'm used to that. <laughs> and even and now in this time, on top of that, working obviously from home all week uh, makes it more intense. But no, I'm I'm pretty much used to it. <coughs> but um, uh, jeez, that's also messing up my voice, by the way. Um. But no, uh, the weather over here actually is really good currently, so I'm actually spending a lot of time on my terrace. <clears throat> Alrighty. There's a brightly colored box here. It seems totally out of place in here. The more I look at it, the more suspicious I get. Should we open it? I'm getting kind of a bad vibe from it. But I mean, we can't not open it. Okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why, you think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous, but surprising, probably. Huh. Oh. If it is what I think it is, at the very least, it's not something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway. Just don't scream or anything, okay? Is there like a dead body part or something in there? Are you saying it's something that will make me want to scream? Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Step by a heavy step, I approached the box, I took a deep breath, then took hold of the lid. Slowly, ever so slowly, I lifted it up. A dildo. Light began to sneak its way into the box. I stole a hesitant glance inside and... <laughs> Kyoko's advice was no use. I let out a trampling cry. Oh, it is her daddy! Her dad is in that box. Mm. The headmaster was killed. Mm. I mean, for us, <coughs> we are a little bit further than that, Kitra. Over here, uh, schools will slowly open. So we are a little bit further than that, but uh, yeah, but we still have the rule. Uh, like right now, where I live, uh, you are only allowed to go out with one other person, not more. Um, and that rule will still probably be kept at, uh, until June too. Also, uh, they already decided that there's not going to be until uh, any big events allowed until August, I think. No, face mask is not mandatory to wear, no Noriyuki. It's not mandatory to wear it. Uh, but it is mandatory to keep your distance, like there are some... Like the stores have to watch that not too many people go in. Like if you now go into a supermarket, there's always like a long line to enter. And when you go inside, um, you only are allowed to go with a, with a wagon inside. Like, they regulate how many people enter the supermarket and everything. Oh, Table Soccer will be shut down longer than June Kingsnaker. Like, the only... Only a few stores are allowed to open in May. And bars and... And bars will definitely not be allowed to open. Yeah, trolley, exactly. But then you're all outside in the queue spreading it, theoretically, but they do keep their distance in the in the queue outside as well, apes. It looks pretty ridiculous, to be honest, like you have like that long queue outside. Like, the reason the face mask is not mandatory over here, Noriyuki, is because 
Uh, a face mask doesn't help that much. Um, it helps. You, it helps, but it doesn't help that much. And people that are sick shouldn't go out, anyways. You're right. All the teeth are, are on the skull. That is actually outstanding, Darren. But yeah, this is probably the skeleton of her daddy. Her head, the headmaster was killed. What was in the box? It was bones. Human bones. It was the last thing I expected to find in such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? Just as I thought. What? Yeah, this is her daddy. This was set up for her with a nice photo and a nice present box for her to find. The headmaster's master it. Mm. Just as you thought. How could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there. Human bones. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the bones specifically, I just had a feeling it would be his body. That's pretty much the same thing, a dead guy in a box. My father. Huh? Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? The same man she's been searching for? Hold on. How can you know that for sure? How do you know that's him? Given all the information we have already, that's the only possible answer. So that same person may be very well the mastermind who planned all this out, and according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. <laughs> yeah, 16 students, because the headmaster is dead. Oh yeah, a lot of people are also wearing masks, Nuriyuki, but the thing is, okay, look at me for example, I do have a mask, but I can't wear it for too long, because I have allergic asthma, and wearing a mask for too long, um, my breathing suffers too much from that, so... I have a mask and I use it when I'm in... I can't wear the face mask longer for than 45 minutes. Right? Uh, so, and that's why the masks are not uh, mandatory, because not everyone can wear a mask forever. <laughs> like, they are actually bad for the lungs. Like, and the reason I can't wear them is not because I have corona, it's just because my, my lungs are pretty weak and I do have... Uh, so I'm pretty happy they are not mandatory. I still use the use it when I'm using public transportation, but yeah, I couldn't use it like for the whole duration of a of a walk outside. Yeah, the masks are also no like they help, but they are not like a guarantee to not get infected. Also, like they do more to avoid that you spread something than you actually getting something because you also get infected by touching your eyes and stuff, right? Like the mask is more so you don't spread your stuff than the other way around. Although Igor said that he, the headmaster was probably here in the school, but the only ones who were alive at the start of the killing games were our 16 students. When you put those two ideas together, it doesn't take much to assume that most likely my father was in the school, but he was also dead. That's my assumption anyway. As Kyoka explained her analysis, she was completely calm. Or no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, so she knew it was a possibility. But I have to believe that at some point she wanted to be proven wrong, which is why she never looked in the box herself even though she had plenty of chances. I know Kyoko said she wanted to see her father so she could cut off, cut off all ties, but was that all there was to it? A Kirigiri detective would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I couldn't help but wonder.
This is the angle which was needed. Mm -hmm. The headmaster's desk. It's probably hiding some kind of clue, so I really want to check it out, but I really don't want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without her permission. Hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you like. You sure? Yes. Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Okay then, if you don't mind. Starting from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rummaged through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. By the last drawer... What is this? It's an e-handbook, right? And there's a label on it that says, in case of emergency. I found some kind of emergency handbook in the headmaster's desk. A handbook with no limitations given to the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what that is. I think you're probably right. It might prove useful as we continue our investigation. Why did you hold onto it? But Kyoko, I don't need it. If you don't want it, go ahead and leave it here. Then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? We can use it on the locker room, maybe. This filing cabinet seems like the kind of place you'd find a clue. I should take a closer look, but I don't think Kyoko would like some stranger like me touching her dead stuff. Hey. It's fine, check whatever you want. You sure? Okay then. I went through each drawer one by one, starting from the top, but all I found were piles and piles of unrelated documents. He was pretty dedicated to his job, huh? It's just because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy, instead he left it all behind. If he couldn't even handle a job like this, he would have been that much more of a failure. I'm sure he couldn't stand the thought of that, and it made him desperate. Is that something on the bottom there? Ah, hmm. oh, this picture. Yeah, Darren. I don't think she meant it that way. <laughs> it's all faded. It must be pretty old. Wait, is this a picture of... Hey, Kyoko. Why would you? Well, this is annoying. I came here to cut myself free of the past and yet... To now find something like this. So what do you expect me to do now? Then I was right. It's a picture of Kyoko when she was a little girl. Knowing the headmaster had this picture all this time, he must have really cared about her. Why? No touching the girls, exactly. <laughs> Chill out, guys. <laughs> A good weep laughs to D and doesn't need any toucherino. <laughs> Why? What? I wanted to face him and tell him myself to cut him out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here, and now he's abandoned me again. And this time he even stole the only opportunity I had to move on. Has there ever been a worse father? Kyoko. Yeah, for protect, not touchy touchy. Hey. Listen, Makoto, huh? Can I ask you a favor? Favorite, is it? I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. I know it will only inconvenience you that much more, but... Could you leave? Huh? Correct. Just for a little while. I'd just like to be alone for a bit. Kyoko. Don't worry, I'm fine. I just need to calm down a little. I need to get my emotions in order. You know, Kyoko, you told me before about the relationship you had with your dad. How you only connected by blood, not by heart and soul, but... Maybe that picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? If so, it's just a theory. And this isn't an issue that can be settled with theories. That picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... That problem can't be solved so easily. You're right, I'm sorry. Once I've got myself under control, I return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. I, I understand. See you later. <laughs> I never said it would be financed by cat girl tourism. No, I just said it would be a, a, a cat girl weep empire with cat girls. It would have cat girls, but cat girls that 
would be emancipated, of course. I never said it would be financed from that. It's really okay. Kyoko, it must have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it was a shock to me. To find what happened to the Hatmaster. There's no doubt the Masterman performed that evil deed. They killed the Hatmaster, killed Kyoko's father. They killed him. The Hatmaster is dead. To, to see them? Yeah, to see them, not to touch them. Maybe Headmaster was one of the people who died in the tragedy a year before? Yeah, maybe, Abe. It's definitely possible. He died and transferred his brain into Pedro Bear. <laughs> but we were wrong about that. The Headmaster wasn't the mastermind, which means the mastermind's true identity is... Fifteen of us met in the mail hall. Add Mukuru to the mix and you get 16. And including me, only six of us are still alive. Everyone else is dead. Oh, here we go. All the deads. All the, all the dead people. It's not a hostess club. As I said, no. They will be emancipated. <laughs> Jeez. How nobody of you can 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 even can see the possibility of cat girls living a normal healthy life. You just don't share my vision shed. Even Makuro. Even she's undeniably dead. So the ones still left alive are me. Yakia, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and Kyoko. Hmm. I also, like, you know, Kyoko's memory was erased, so I also had that idea of, like, maybe all their memories were erased and. The mastermind couldn't know like we had that weird dream right where i was wondering wait what if makoto is the mastermind he just doesn't remember but i guess you wouldn't be able to control monokuma that way if you wouldn't remember unless you would would have had it all planned out beforehand and monokuma would be a super sophisticated ai Astros, that's not what I'm saying. But when I talk cat girls, you're all just like in the realm of all of them being being working in a hostess club, being prostitutes or manservants. That's all you're thinking of. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I am just teasing, all right? I'm just teasing. <laughs> you think of Mia? Oh damn, Mia. Mia was a pretty one. Not men service, men servants. Yeah, and cat girls seem to have a Welsh accent. <laughs> yeah, Bastrel, sorry, my bad. I know you're here for the niece. What am I talking about? <laughs> Only those six people are still alive. Then there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. I refuse to believe it. There has to be some other way. There just has to be. Mm. First. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, that's an interesting little piece of art here. What if Makoto is actually Makoto? 
Uh, let's see if we can use the... I wonder if I can open this locker. No block. There's a card reader. After all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wrong handbook. Oh yeah, there we go. What about the emergency handbook? I found the Hatmaster's hidden room. Okay, let's give it one more try. Yeah. Give it one more try, please. Alright, just what I was hoping for. Now let's see what we've got inside. Hmm, nope. Don't see anything that could be a clue. Jeez, I have to do it on all of them, right? Oh! This thing is practically empty. There's just one thing, some kind of pocketbook. I don't see a name written on it, so I can't say for sure whose it is, but there's some writ writing inside. It could be important. I like violating the owner's privacy, but I better take a look. Looks like a girl's handwriting, and all the letters are spaced out evenly, like whoever wrote them was measuring them. Whoever wrote this must have been really meticulous. Huh. I was flipping through the pocketbook, but my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. There's a plan to turn Hope's... There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolate the students here in a communal life. I decided to talk to the one who came up with the plan directly. It just so happens to be the headmaster and my father. Oh, Kyoko, huh? Unless... Kyoko has siblings. It's not 100% Kyoko. One here could make them live a communal life. I don't, I, I, I'm not sure that idea, like, already, like contained like making a killing game out of it but but yeah the headmaster uh had the idea of the communal life and apparently this book is of either kyoko or she has siblings it is true he only did have a kyoko picture what if makoto's her bro <laughs> He was willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe, to keep them as our hope for the future. Only their genius can overcome disaster and only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of our country, our world, it's not an exaggeration to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupted world to serve as the foundation for a new era. This is the only hope we have. I hope that you'll be willing to go along with this plan. So that's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone else. What if the chicken is Kyoko's sibling? I can't imagine it were his father. This can't be true, can it? But I knew it was, and I knew exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko, it couldn't be anyone else. But if this belongs to Kyoko, what was it doing in this locker? Okay, maybe. So Kyoko lost memory, right? Yeah, so maybe Kyoko forgot that she was already here. That she even was here when the tragedy took place. So it really was a corrupt since he left when she was little. What does this all mean? I quickly scanned the remaining pages of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about this whole thing. But when I reached the last page, the question marks spinning through my mind just started spinning that much faster. When I looked at it, unlike the rest of the pocketbook, the writing here was messy, disorganized scrawl. It possibly make any sense. Despair walks among us and so we survive. There's a second despair. I mean, that was just what she recently discovered, that there's more than... I mean, there's probably not more of value here, I'm still gonna check. Oh, 
This locker is totally disorganized. Whoever it belongs to probably has organization problems every part of their life. This is the crystal ball. Wait! Hero? Is this Hero's locker? This is a crystal ball. Huh, a crystal ball? No, it can't be. There's no way he ever used this locker, it's just not possible. Unless Hero was here before too. There's all kinds of textbooks and notebooks stacked up in a particular order and dust everywhere. I have to assume wherever st staff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. Trying to act as casual and natural as possible, I picked up one of the notebooks I saw. But the moment I looked inside the notebook, any sense of easiness I may have had evaporated. Oh yeah, his name is on there. What? There was no denying what I saw. Inside the notebook was written Yasuhiro Hagakura. Okay, okay, Chad. We saw the photos, right? We saw the photos of the people that are dead now. Living a happy school life. So, basically, that probably does actually mean everyone's memory was erased, right? And they actually went here to school already before. Like, this is the old locker Hero used. That other one's the old locker, um, the old locker that uh, Kyoko used. They are, did have a school life here together. But they don't remember. Or they are cloned. <laughs> Oh, is this Arya Sihiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes, which would mean he attended classes here? Can't be possible. I mean, Hiro came to the school at the same time as the rest of us. We were all sucked into this evil world. We never had the chance to take any classes. So, what is this notebook? Yeah, I, I, I think all of our memories were actually erased as the more i see the less sense it makes because these lockers i mean they had to belong to the previous students right so why am i seeing this yeah we were the previous student students why are there things in the lockers that look like they could belong to people here a notebook that seems like it belongs to hero and a pocketbook that seems like it belongs to kyoko there has to be some kind of explanation but if I want to find that out, I have to keep moving the investigation forward. He knows for everyone. And I have to believe in everyone. I mean, these doors probably don't open. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, very interesting, very interesting. Checking through, seeing like if we see any unusual. Oh, yeah, the Monokuma door. I'm definitely curious for the Monokuma door. If this are just some clones, the TV stuff would make sense. I don't know. But it will also make it so meaningless, Darren, if it was just clones. Hey, Makoto. I'm Makoto, are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Yeah, I can't help but wonder about that Monokuma door. So I figured, if all the doors in school had mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up.
Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Wait, let me take cover first. I don't want to get exploded. I need to race over to a nearby desk and hit underneath it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Everything will be okay, right? Alright, here goes nothing. I threw all my weight into it, but the door opened much easier than I expected. Oh, the Monokuma Control Center. There was no explosion, thankfully. My first impression was... Oh! So earlier, when Monokuma... Before we met the people in the dining hall, and Monokuma was talking that weird shit, probably somebody was in here that didn't know how to control Monokuma. What is this device? It looks like some kind of control panel. It's really over the top though, like some kind of military installation or something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? You feel me probably freak out if you saw it. Cockpit? So the monocular room has a control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. Then could that mean? Okay. Alright, let's start poking at it or whatever. I'm gonna start pushing buttons. Well, hold on, you can't just or whatever something like this. But it was too late. Tina was already jabbing away at the control panel. And they all died! <laughs> Is there March Simf Simpson somewhere? I know you wanna wanna stick to that, but like as long as as long as Monokuma isn't here talking, there is no March Simpson's voice. Huh, did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the other room. Hina, what did you push? I'm not totally sure, but I think it was that one, the button that says data center. Data center. I took a good look at the control panel and I saw a bunch of buttons, each with the name of a room next to it. And just like Hina said, there was one labeled data center. That must be the one she pushed. But the data center, that's right next door. The rumor we're just in, that's where the strange noise came from. I'd probably better go check it out. Yes, please, I'm kind of scared of my mind right now, so I'll just cheer you on from over here. I mean, Monokuma will be there now. <sighs> hey! Grr, grr, give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? What? Ah, oh, man, busted! How did you know? Anyway, what is this? Some kind of remote control camera kind of setup? You don't even know what you're controlling? Well, I mean, I can't really see anything from in here. Ah, guess what I found? A self-destruct button! Whatever you do, don't push it. Ah, oh, man! Are you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that settled us. The room with the Monokuma drawing on it and the control panel inside. That's an interesting idea too, apes. But why would the new mastermind comply with it? Like go with it. Wow, hey Makoto, what the heck was that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What do you mean? What you were controlling just now? It was Monokuma. Monokuma? What, for real? Yep, it looks like that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Which means the mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. Yeah, they were definitely in here. The mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. And this control room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. In other words... Maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. It's a little bit of a flawed design. The mastermind Monokuma then the mastermind Monokuma's puppet really is the 16th student. No, it can't be. There's no way, right? What's wrong, Makoto? I don't like that face you're making. Oh, no, it's nothing. Okay. I can't say it isn't possible, but I really hope it's not true. So, like, you wanna leave soon? There's still lots of other places to check out. Yeah, good point. We can't waste all our time standing around here. Okay, you want to get going? Yeah. 
Hmm. As soon as the door to the data center was closed, I heard a strange sound. What was that? Of course it's locked, because the data center is now restricted. Monokuma. Hey, no fair, you can't just go around restricting whatever you feel like. It's for your benefit, because if that room stays open, I won't be able to move around. Imagine how depressed everyone would get if the school mask could just up and stop moving. Then that room. As you may have guessed, that's wh wh where my controls are. So right now you're being operated by someone in that room? Correct, Amanda. Yeah, how did that person... Did they, were they hiding? But that doesn't make any sense. We were just in there. Written suspicious hatch. No way. The hatch on the floor? Oh. Too bad. That was your one big chance and you blew it. Hello, beautiful evening, how are you? I hope you had a beautiful break, stream break. <laughs> Good to be back. I am feeling better, I'm still like, you know, I'm still feeling that it's like, it's not really, I don't know, most of the time I just feel sick basically. It's not really so much the stomach ache, it's more like the air coming up and feeling nauseous, but this is, it's pretty good right now. Um, it was a mistake earlier to eat right before stream. Apes, no! <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, apes. Uh, let me, I need to actually... Hey, Blue Saturn, nice to see you here again. Wait, were you here earlier? There was already an earlier stream. We already dove a little bit into the final chapter, but I wasn't feeling well, so we only streamed for like for two hours and now I'm back. Apes, better. <laughs> Well, it's okay, I understand. I, I sometimes, you know, have these kind of phases too where I'm watching some garbage and I enjoy it. As long as you enjoy it, that's all that matters. I usually get sick of it pretty quick though and then I'm back to watching some good stuff. I know, I know, apes. And I'm saying better. <laughs> Uh. And yeah, Prince, uh, unfortunately no quality option, options, huh? But yeah, makes sense. Uh, during the day, I guess there are less streams. <laughs> Thank you, Panda. Maybe, maybe I look cute because I'm s sick and vulnerable. <laughs> Tells a lot about you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, no worries, Blue Saturn. I know that was really early for you. And that stream wasn't so long. It was like two hours, I think. But yeah, I do feel better. What might happen later on, because I, I earlier like because I'm gulping so much, so much air is coming up. Um, reading is kind of hard over a long extended time, just because you know I'm reading and I'm gulping at the same time, and kind of I feel like that makes me feel even more sick. So it might be that at some point I'm not gonna read anymore for you guys and you will have to read yourself we'll see how it goes right now i'm feeling good right now everything's everything's fine but might change Atta! hello 
A beautiful evening to you. Hello there equals D. Yeah, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you for all the support, Ed. I hope you're doing good. Not right now, Ips, but it might happen later. Ed, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. Thank you for all your support. Yeah, I'm just like, I am theoretically fine. It's just, uh... I have some stomach issues right now. God, I'm confused. Stop being confused, Sammy. Okay, there we go. Hatmaster's room. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I just I'm just having some stomach issues these days. That's it. Besides that, I am Gucci. Lots of stream. The simp you were talking about on Discord finally say, decide to say something back? Wow. They have grown, Prince. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Yeah, I will see. If it doesn't get better during the weekend, I guess I will have to pay. Go to a dog next week. See if I need to take some antibiotics or, or stuff. Headmaster has two of those. Yeah, you're right. You are right. One picture there is twice. Yeah, no worries. I guess it was luck. Luck for you. And I guess not necessarily luck for me, but luck for you that I didn't feel well earlier. Hope it's not serious. Yeah, I... I hope so too. <laughs> I guess, but I don't think so, no. It can turn into a serious situation, but if th it would turn into a serious situation, I would notice because then I would have really bad stomach ache. Um, so I would notice that. But it's just feeling nauseous so far, mostly. And just a little bit of ache after eating something. I will probably also won't eat anything today anymore, to be honest, because my eating experience, these last two days have been very bad but yeah ultimate lucky student okay this is the headmaster's room I've heard an awful lot about it but this will be my first time seeing it for myself ah Makoto it's you oh Byakuya hey Makoto are you ignoring me you think I'll forgive that just because you're you let me get out of here, remember this moment. What do you mean? Well, you came to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? What do you mean something interesting? Take a look at this. It was on top of that pathetically ostent ostentatious stack. desk. Class number 78, student registry. It contains profits for all of us and Mukuro. Apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait, when we found Makuro's profile in Kyoko's room... I see. That's right, it also mentioned class number 78. This must be where Kyoko got that page. And since the rest of our profiles are listed in there along with hers, there can be no doubt Makuro was a student here at Hope's Peak Academy just like the rest of us. Makuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, that must be how Kyoko learned about it. But it seems that Kyoko was in a hurry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing, the way the paper had been crumpled, she must have been in a hurry. Well, since she snuck in to get it, I'm sure she wanted to get out as fast as possible. But what's your point? She was in so much of a hurry that she only got the first page. The first page? Correct. Mukro's profile actually contains two pages. What? So in other words... When it comes to this profile, there was more information about Mukuro that we still didn't have. What kind of information is it? I have to come up with a silly theory uh, with a lot of holes, but I'll share it when the time is right. Yeah, Abes, please. Please enlighten us. Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? But yeah, what we learned earlier is 
Monokuma has to be controlled from within that room, which means it can't actually be, like, it can't be one of the students, uh, like, it can't be Byakuya, Kyoko, Hiro, Hina, or Makoto. Hmm. Which kind of means maybe it was Makura? But someone took over. Like, actually, Abe's theory of someone taking over doesn't seem that unreasonable. Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us such an interesting clue. I was half listening, listening to Byakuya as I skimmed through the re report. Makuro reappeared suddenly, and in the background an entity floats close, but just out of reach. What does that mean, in the background an entity floats? The entity known as the ultimate despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Oh, okay. Whatever it is, Makuro definitely has some sort of connection to it. You found a dumb wh whistle kind of thing? You mean like in real life? I have a bad feeling about all this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. And I need to pay attention to Makuro's behavior too. This is just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. Despite the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir, when she entered Hope's Peak, she didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. What? Wait. Right. The scars on her hands were missing. I, re I remember now again. That fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students after all. Has just someone of her group taken over her role? Is st student number 16 like five people? Hmm. That would be a dumb solution. I wouldn't like that. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I will be forced to take all reasonable measures. Makuro was a part of the ultimate despair. I don't think there can be any doubt about it now. But wouldn't that mean Makuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why... Why would they kill Makuro? Plus, even the Headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Makuro was capable of. They would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Oh, it's like a kid's toy? I remember these whistles, like, that they also sell, like, I don't know, at events, that sounds wrong, street street festivals or something, I don't know, for kids. The whistles that you put, like, right on the tongue to make, like, bird sounds. Or maybe it means the mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What's wrong, Makoto? Huh? You seem to be lost in thought, but I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should note. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? A picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before. A girl who seems to be included as part of our class, number 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. And further information about that girl is included in the file. 5 foot, 7 inches, 97 pounds, and it even lists her vitals, 31, 22, 32. Well, what do you think? What do I think? Are you asking me, like, if she has a nice body? You hopeless idiot. What I'm trying to tell you is maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to the corpse and maybe you'll think, oh, could that mean? Wait, is he trying to say? There's a chance the body isn't actually Makuro? Is that what he's saying? Yeah, that's obviously... Yeah, the hands didn't have scars, so obviously the body might not be Makuro, and Makuro might still be alive and still be the 
mastermind. That is probably the simplest solution. The winds of change whistle. Uh, personally, what I'm thinking seems all but impossible, but it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? That's always trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. So I'm back to being Byakuya's errand boy. So yeah, it seems... Okay. Hmm. I just wonder if that solution is too simple. But obviously, yeah. The body might not be Makuro. So Makuro is still the mastermind. And still alive and kicking. I mean, the hands didn't have scars. Makuro's profile has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Too soon. <laughs> All right, Ed, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy your dinner. Thank you, thank you. And yeah, enjoy GTA. Can't spell simple without a simp. Oh my god. How many wife is left? Hina and Toko, basically. Oh, Kyoko, of course. Kyoko, Hina and Toko are still alive. And one last thing. It's a bit of advice for me to you, so I'd suggest you pay attention. Advice for me? You seem to be getting along with Kyoko quite, we quite well. It's not that we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Yeah, yeah, a very nice social activity, especially in these times. But yeah, have a beautiful night, Eto. Oh yeah, Panda, we learned that Kyoko is the ultimate detective. We also learned a lot of other stuff, like we learned hints that, like what I think is everybody lost their memory and they have been actually attending the school that is what i think because we found uh, lockers uh, and there was a locker that definitely belonged to hero and there was a locker with a notebook from kyoko also we saw these old photos right so yeah i think everyone lost their memory and they were actually attending the school together normally before so um but they lost their memories uh and we know that at least Kyoko definitely lost her memories. She didn't remember that she was the uh, ultimate detective, right? So yeah, that's something additional we learned. And we learned that the headmaster was Kyoko's father and that he's dead. Well, don't put too much faith in her. huh? The cost of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Just what I think. Call it a hunch. A hunch. But my hunches tend to be proven right. The advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind, thanks. I just wanna see because... Okay. There are trophies and even a shield in the display case. Display case. Class number 78, student registry, apparently that's us. It has profiles of me and everyone I met at the beginning and Makuro. Just like us, Makuro was apparently a new st student here at Hope's Peak. Makuro Ikusawa part of the ultimate despair, which means her and the mastermind should have been allies. But then why would the mastermind kill her? Weren't they friends? I think Makuro... Like, why is Makoto saying her and the mastermind? M M Makoto already knows that nobody besides the students is in the school, so he knows, like, if, well, I don't know. Oh, wow, Saturn. I knew I wasn't crazy. Is that like some reference to a joke because you're calling it the, the hat master and not the hat master? Well, the bookshelf seems really well made and it's filled with files and thick books. 
Oh, let me see. There are documents scattered all over the floor. Some of it makes me feel anxious. All right. Uh, I think that's it on this floor. Yeah. So yeah, we want to go to the dojo again, to the garden again, and to the bio lab. Oh, Choco, so this is where you were. Am I so disgusting you want me out of your sight? No, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd found a clue. Well, I haven't. I didn't find anything. Not one single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, it would have to have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Give it back! Give me back my precious time! Calm down, Toko. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? When everyone finds out, they're gonna call me useless. Good for nothing. Nobody's gonna say that. Master will. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Well, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe I'm gonna get going. There's a bunch of wooden lockers in here. We found a clue in here, but it was just the mastermind's attempt to frame Kyoko. Hmm. I think it's slightly off putting feature in a person who doesn't have any self-confidence and thinks just in the way of others. Oh, and thinks is just in the way of others. I mean, yeah, that's like the... That is like the very... Um, difficult thing about people that have very low self-esteem and confidence, right? Like that's what makes them so difficult and that's why it's it's also so difficult for them to break free of that because they are reassuring themselves that that is the case. Like, you know, it's like a it's like a vicious cycle. Mm. Huh, it's gone. Mukuru's body. It's not here. Hmm. There are still just the four chickens left. Honestly, I'd be kind of terrified if there were more than that. Maybe the body is inside the tool shed. I mean, they might have just cleaned it up. I mean, that happened with the other bodies probably too after the trial. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not in here either, then it must be... I have no idea where. But corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in here. There's one other thing. The tarp. A tarp played a key role in another case, so I'd better look into it. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet, which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh. I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on one corner of the tarp. It says Biolab. Oh! And nobody had... Oh, actually Kyoko did have access to the Biolab. 
Then this originally came from the bio lab. Oh, that's warm for you? Where could her body have gone? I'd better start looking for it. I mean, it probably was just cleaned up after the trial. I don't know. I don't think it's that weird that it's gone. Yeah, I'm ignoring the food stuff. Like, over here it's warmer these days and I really enjoy it. Oh, Canada. Yeah, Canada can be cold too. Depends, I guess, on the region you're in, but it also has very cold parts. Well, here I am in the bio lab. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so cold? Oh god. Oh god, all the bodies are in here. Of course. All bodies are in here. There's some kind of weird machine or something built into the wall. And on the left side, there's a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... I always feel like Canada is what America should have been. Wow. Ugh, so cold. Why is it so cold in here? That's the first thing I need to figure out. Really. There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. I mean, yeah, it's cold, but what? why do you need to figure out why it's cold? Oh, I'm supposed to click over here too. There's some kind of weird machine or something built. I've seen something like this before. Ah, that's it. I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Does that mean this pilot is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. There's some kind of weird machine and on the... Okay, the right hand lights are off. Okay, what do you want me to do exactly? Then does that mean, since Makura's body disappeared from the garden, could it be in here? I need to check, but I have no idea how to open this thing. Okay. Uh, oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative to standard dry ice for all your cadaver needs. In addition to the germicidal lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ec ethylene gas. Simply insert the cadaver and the blue light will let you know the automated systems have activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimum settings. With our system, anyone can keep a body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. In the unlikely event of a problem, the red light will activate an alarm resound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an optional leather upholstery upgrade package. This is the instruction manual for the fridge. Well, looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. It's some kind of makeshift morgue. And about those lights by each slot. It looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean inside each slot lit up in blue, another one of the victims is. Chaos! Hey! A beautiful evening to you. Yeah, it's like uh, crime. Well, not exactly crime, but yeah, it's 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 mystery solving. This the plot is a little bit battle royale style. They are all in the schools killing each other. Yeah, Celeste is here sleepy. It's all like them dead. <laughs> Green potato, nice you here again. Is it even okay if I call you green potato? I think it's funny, but I don't mean to insult you. I can't let my emotions take control right now. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. 
Hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, I think we did everything. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, I wanted actually to count how many of the fridges have their light turned on to see if it fits. Slime! Hey, nice to hear. Doesn't mean Manbot hasn't got spoiled yet. Hmm. I mean, nine would be correct. No, nine would be wrong. Wait, how many are we? Uh, Makoto, Byakuya, Hina, Kyoko, Toko, Hiro. We're six. And then there is the mastermind. So seven should be alive. Right? And it's 16 in total. So eight should be, um, no, no, you're right. Nine would be correct. Mm? Have I miscounted? No, nine would be correct, actually. Nine would be correct, since seven should be alive. Well then, since you're all giving it your best, oh. For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym Oh, it's not the trial yet. We're getting a hint. Okay, very interesting. What? Now he wants to give us a hint? I mean, the hint is probably a trap, but it's suspicious. There's no doubt about that. This could be a trap, but even knowing that, he said to go to the gym, right? You did it the wrong way? How many died? I mean, yeah, if I did that, Darren, obviously I would come up with another number, but we already, like, our current theory is that the dead body isn't actually Makuru, right? Because the dead body didn't have any scarves. Makuru is still alive and kicking it is the mastermind. So, and since Makuru is still alive and kicking, we have six students we are alive and Makuru is number seven so seven are alive yeah th I, I also think you should not you know push in that direction but yeah I just like my calculation there should be a number eight I don't think we should pursue this conversation because you both know how the game ends. However, um, I don't think there should be a number eight, no. I mean, I get what you people are saying. It's like, who is the dead body, right? That is what you want to hint towards. I don't know. We will see. I mean, obviously, we have multiple theories right now, but it doesn't seem like the dead body is Makuro. Because the dead body didn't have any scars. Also, that would explain why the ha why we still are up against the mastermind. I don't actually like this solution, because I think it's quite simple and it would be more fun if actually one of the remaining six is the mastermind. That would be more fun. Yeah, the dead body boomed. It did, it did. But still, there were no scars on the hands. The hands were pretty... Like, even in the headmaster's report said that... Um, the, actually, yeah, that was a little bit of a contradiction. The headmaster's report said that she didn't have many scars, even though she was such a fighter. But then, uh, in the archive, we read that there should be scars on her hands. And she didn't have scars on her hands. Which did make us believe back then that the body might still be Kyoko. Oh, hey, hero. 
Makoto. Why would you act so surprised? Uh, oh, no, no reason. You heard Monokuma's announcement, right? Are you here to find out what he has to say? I... I... I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. You already talked to him? What'd he say? Listen, sorry, but, but I... I gotta go. Is he talking to everyone one-on-one? -on -one? Here, wait. There was no point in trying to stop and he ran off like a frightened animal. Hero, it was like he was trying to avoid me. I was hoping to talk to him about the notebook I found in the locker. He's been hiding something this whole time. Okay, yeah. Uh, he's gonna try to spread some mistrust here. A live waifu is the best waifu. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, hello. Are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you. The envelope. This must be the envelope. Boo! And just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. What? Don't worry, just get on with it. Monokuma's cryptic words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope and opened it. What I found was a single photograph. And f f yeah. So yeah, they were going to school together. They all lost their memory. Happy to hear the grammatically correct Yoda voice again. <laughs> Thank you, Panda. It featured a bunch of faces I recognized extremely well. Wait, isn't the Kodo on this picture? Makoto is not on this picture, is he? But Makuro is. Yeah, Taka is covering Junko's face. Makuro is actually on this picture. Yeah, everybody except Makoto is on this picture. Coming back to the theory that Makoto himself is the mastermind. It was everyone who'd come to Hope's Peak at the same time as me. Wait, but there's someone behind Sayaka. She's the only one I don't recognize. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right. And Byakuya and I were in the headmaster's room and we looked at that file. Lukuru Ikusawa. <clears throat> then this girl is. What? Why? Why is Mukuru here with everyone else? And even more than that. Just having everyone here posed like this is weird enough by itself. And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. And now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. And yeah, that's why Hero is so suspicious of us, because we're not in the picture. Yeah, the, everyone's gonna be sus suspicious. Uh, so it's gonna be suspecting us because we're not in the picture. Is Makoto actually Mukuro? I don't know. I mean, we have seen him during the trial. Like, if he had never seen, like, if he, if the whole game was an ego perspective, it would have been one hundred percent possible, right? But in the trials, you do actually see him talk from like third person view, so. Right? Hmm. Well, Prince, we are looking at this photograph and everyone's on there besides Makoto. So everyone's gonna suspect Makoto. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived here at Hope's Peak Academy. So it's natural for me not to be in this picture, but what's definitely unnatural is that everyone else is in the picture. I thought everyone's like me and didn't know each other till they got here. But if this picture is real, then could that mean, could it be everyone else and just me, everyone here except me is? How long are you gonna keep up this rambling solo soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? You're kinda getting in the way standing there, you know? 
So, I mean, get out. But I told you, I'm not feeling any questions. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? That'd be totally out of left field. I guess that means he's done talking. Damn it. So in the end, all I found in the gym was even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. Yeah, someone smashed their head on the keyboard. <laughs> How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? To put together a fake photo just to confuse me? But it looked so real, so full of life. How could anyone fake that? Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. That should clear all this up. No, I have to clear this all, all this up. I did the pyramid? What, what do you mean? Wait, where am I supposed to go? Dining hall? Yeah, of course, Blue Saturn, of course, of course. Don't give me hints, though. You have played the game. Let me think for myself. I do think he was there. I think Monokuma is just giving out this picture to make everyone suspect Makoto. Uh Oh, the archive, okay. <laughs> King Snake. <laughs> Are we supposed to talk everyone one on one? Oh, Byakia. Listen, do you think we could talk? Byakia? I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Uh, Byakia, wait! Of course he didn't, he just walked away. What the? Why was he acting like that? Like he was purpose purposely trying to avoid me. So yeah, everyone is now suspicious of us and doesn't want to talk to us. I guess you still remember the like how it unfolds in the end, right? Well, the photo. And that's why everyone is suspicious of us now. Hey, hero. Hope? No, that photo isn't hope. Makoto, what's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. No, I... No! Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry. Once again, he ran off like a terrified rabbit. Hero, what's wrong? Still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I'd found. It was like he was avoiding me. Yeah, Monokuma obviously did that on purpose. To make everyone suspect Makoto. But I already said that. Munukuma gave us Hina? What? Do I have to go to the lab too? Yes. I'm not gonna answer anymore, Green Potato. I, I like the thing is, I don't understand why you're asking this question. Like, I have already said what I believe, so sure, ask me, like, 
ask me what I think of the game or what I suspect and I'm telling you that but don't try to lead me to some new conclusions right like because you know the solution so don't try to lead me somewhere else that is influencing my my experience okay like you can surely you can ask who you think did it, what's going on, etc. And why is my cam lagging? Give me a second here, I will reset my cam. Right, so you, uh, feel free, like, sure, you can always ask me, like, um, what am I thinking right now, who I think did it, what's my current theory, I'm happy to answer that. But don't try to lead me somewhere with your questions, because you know the solution to all of this and I don't want to know it before it unfolds, right? Maybe I will get it myself, but like I don't I don't want to know it, right? And yeah, I, I think currently I do think currently I do think that um, Munukuma uh, Give me a second here. I will shut down some stuff in the background um i think that monokuma spread that picture so everybody will accuse uh, makoto i think that is the reason for that picture the simp you mean uh prince is that like it seems laggy, right? Okay. Give me a short moment, you guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, but like, uh, it seemed laggy, so I decided to shut down some bits and also restart the browser okay okay is the game lagging for you guys on stream i mean it's not lagging for me it is right okay give me a second Uh Yeah, I I'll, I'll I'll restart the game. Also we'll check what how my PC is doing right now. Hmm. Mhm. Mm It's not the Elgato, Darren. We're not even playing a game on console. How could it be the Elgato? We're playing on PC. Of, of course it's not the Elgato. But yeah, my GPU is pretty hot right now for some reason. Gonna shut down some more stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, we'll, we'll wait a short moment. We need the, I don't know why it's, yeah, like usually it doesn't heat up during streaming stuff like that. I don't know why it heated up today. Like recent streams, it also didn't. Hmm. Don't know what I did wrong today. Yeah, it's the hot GPU is a, is a... We'll have to wait a moment here until the GPU cools down a little bit. I think it doesn't seem to right now, and I don't know why. Hmm. 
Huh. Maybe you should go swimming. Yeah, we'll have to eventually get this year a new streaming PC. But right now I can't afford it. Yeah, we're gonna chat a little bit. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I have to restart actually because right now the temperature is just not changing. Not at all. And I don't know why. I'll actually, actually try something. So weird. Like usually instantly when I like shut down stuff, right? The temperature drops, but right now it drops very, very slowly. Like when I checked, the temperature was on 98 degrees. We are now down to 95 degrees, but usually at this point it should already have gone down to like, you know, 89 degree or something. Oh, it is cooling down now a little bit. We're now at 93. I'm not going to start the game again before we're not under 90. Yeah, it's really strange. I think I might consider doing a restart. Yeah. Uh, Celsius, yes. Celsius. If you want to know in Fahrenheit, that should be around 200 in Fahrenheit. I don't know. Yeah, that's why I'm so... Uh, why it's so weird right now the temperature is going down very slowly only usually it drops very fast when i shut down the game and everything and all the other things like right now it's only stream running and the browser we're now at 91 it's not 90 degree fahrenheit obviously huh all right, I'm gonna restart, guys. It's, I don't know. Today just, today is just jinxed. Today is just jinxed. Earlier I didn't feel well, and now my PC is not feeling well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna restart, and I'm gonna see if it's better after that. If not, I might. Uh, not we might have to wait till tomorrow to finish the game i mean i will see i will see i will restart now and see if the temperature thing solves itself be back bye bye i mean hopefully i will be back uh, it's not that old it's actually a really good pc you can if you're interested in seeing what it is it is uh on the profile and the tech specs, it's an Asus Rock. It's right out of guarantee. It's like over two years old, but um, it's not uncommon for those to have heating issues since it is a gaming laptop. All right, bye bye. Hey, I am back. Temperature does look good after a restart. Uh, as good as it can look for for. My my little overheating, um, overheating hot-headed Asus rock. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, so temperature is looking good right now. I'm one by one starting like up the stuff I need to see how it goes. It's still okay. It's still okay. Um, all right. But yeah, it, it is looking good right now. It is looking good right now. I mean, maybe we are living in a world right now where I will only be able to stream a game for two hours before I have to restart. That would really suck. Uh. Just take your motherboard out of the laptop case. <laughs> I mean, good thing is the next game we're streaming is PlayStation 4, so, and there are definitely no issues when I'm streaming from the console. 
since then my PC literally has nothing to do, especially my GPU doesn't have anything to do then, right? It's just my CPU that has to do something. My CPU is doing fine. My CPU is not the one overheating. It's my GPU, actually. I did a initially think it was the CPU overheating, but it's definitely the GPU that overheats. However, my CPU all already got overheated once, but I do believe it was just because the GPU overheated first. I'm trying to Google your GPU. I wonder what it looks like. Yeah, I do have MSI Afterburn and I actually did um, underclock my GPU already. Um, because, uh, so yeah, to, to reduce the, the issue to lower, like, to lower its performance, to go with less boom. For it to go less boom, my, my, I don't know, my language, uh, my language center in my brain today is, uh, having some issues. Okay. Let me see. Uh, what does it look like? Hmm. Well, here goes nothing. We are at 90 degree again. But we're still gonna play. Um, I wanna finish, I wanna finish, uh, I wanna finish this game. We're gonna do that. And um, next game we stream is not gonna be an issue and then I have like, during Final Fantasy VII I will have time to figure out a solution. Oh, oh, it's fine. It's fine, potato. That's not what King Snake or I like, or I don't think that was what he was trying to do. I am not a hardware engineer. That is right. I mean, and to be fair, like I don't, I don't have as much experience with laptops. Like that's also why I will actually like I already sent a mail around like in my company if somebody wants to do it for me. Like, I, I already have a tutorial on how to dismantle this thing, but I don't really want to do it because uh, it takes quite a bit. Like, I have to, like, take off the monitor and everything. It's it's quite a, quite a lot more detailed than just, uh, you know, changing exchanging hardware in a PC. Like, it's definitely more complicated than that. Can PowerShell solve this problem? Oh, awesome. And we're just gonna go for now. Um, it's okay right now. We'll see for how long, Prince, basically. I might have... We're just gonna have to uh, hang in for now. Yes, I'm back. Um, a chat, tell me when it starts lagging again, alright? Because I... Uh, it's, it's like right now I can't look at the temperature all the time. No, this one is not, uh, well, okay. Here's what I know about the, it might be, but here's what I know. I do know it, it's supposed to have two tiny fans and what I can do and what I do at least is like, just clean it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I've already like opened the parts I can open and clean there, right? But like, I want to see if the fans are doing all right, and I just want to clean them, right? To like, I, it's not like I'm like thinking like of completely fixing this issue. I just want this laptop to, you know, run for a little bit longer. Fine, like that's it. Sammy doesn't have enough fans. God damn it. Uh, the bio lab, all right. Sure, I shall hydrate. 
I decided to visit the bio lab one more time. And the first thing I saw when I got there was her passed out again. Huh? Toko? T Toko, are you okay? No, no, she's not dead, is she? Ugh. It's cold! It's super cold! It's so cold, I think I might catch a cold! If you keep taking naps in places like this, I'm sure you will. What? I was asleep? Ah, uh, I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing there staring at me getting all excited, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered? Straight up horny? Okay, so why did you pass out? I don't know. Last thing I remember was me waking up just now. What do you do to Miss Moros? Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts each time you switch. Bingo bazinger. We share some basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. And don't say it like it's a bad thing. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Because even if she forgets something, I totally remember. So it's like double the memory. Uh, no, it's more like half. But all I want to know right now is where's my little darling? Tell me now or I slit your throat. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure Byakuya is around somewhere doing his own investigating. Yes. By himself. I assume so. I knew it. I totally knew it. I'm a total pro when it comes to all things, master. Anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. Toko shut off her eerie laughter, echoing behind her. I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point asking Genocide Jack anyway. Besides, I have more important things to do right now. Why did Toko faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. It seems important, but first... The fridge, it's open. But I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. She faints so easily. Kyoko, it's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. But listen, about this room. Oh yeah, it's... It's a morgue. Yeah. I suspected as much. And Toko must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was in there and... Well, there you have it. You knew she'd find it? I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assumed she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason became clear. I imagined she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot there, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why is everything gotta be so difficult with her? Anyway, we should close it up. Don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good idea. Give me a hand with this. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched, but suddenly she stopped. What's wrong? Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body is in here. Mukuro's corpse? Mukuro's body is inside the fridge? Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it? Because they, s because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Okay, so what should I do? Why don't you just wait over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Just wait over there? That's it? She doesn't trust me either. I can't do it. I can't look inside. Really? On the left side, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. But soon the blue light comes on when the slot is occupied. So when someone's in there, the blue light comes on. Looking around, the number of lights that are on, including Makuro's, there's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights? I should ask Kyoto about that group photo. After all, she's in it too. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I wanted to talk to you about something. 
What is it? How can he be at the class try and carry a body? I don't really think it's that important, like, when exactly the body is cleaned up and who does it. But the body is cleaned up. That much we know. I mean, it was the previous time too, right? Somehow they were cleaned up. It's about that uh, announcement Manakuma made earlier. You mean the one about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh? Why not? Because the only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing, but what's done is done, I guess. Standing here looking at her, I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right that the mastermind forged that picture as a trap to confuse us? Oh, King Snake, at this time you got me with the cursor. I guess eventually it works. That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. It's a fridge. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, what else am I supposed to do in here? I've already looked through. Okay, more importantly. Am I supposed to talk to her again? You know, I think I've seen a tarp like this somewhere before. Ah, it's the same as the one I found in the garden tool shed. And if I remember the tarp, it had a stamp on it that said Biolab. And that's the tarp that was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone got it from the Biolab and took it over there. Okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already, geez, that was fast. Anyone can do good work if they go slow. In that spirit, I'll make my report brief. So did you find anything? I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood and it seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. Oh, so the blow to the head was also after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. That means neither of those were the fatal injury, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were however dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife which went completely through the body. They also had been struck in the head with an object about as thick as the metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds but these were at least several days old. Yeah, you can ban emotes. Wait, do you wanna, do you wanna ban that emote or what? Well, I guess as the ultimate detective, she has some medicine knowledge, uh, uh, potato. I mean, because, like, you can recognize whether uh, injuries are after death of the way, like, you know, if the pe person is still alive when they're inflicted, then obviously blood still flows and everything, so. But yeah, it is, I guess it's anime, right? The ultimate detective, she, she's also a doctor at the same time. Yeah, the power of the anime, exactly. The only other option is those other wounds, but the file said they were old. Why does it say they're old? Huh? All the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old, but that doesn't quite follow logically. Old wounds, it makes it sound like they've been there forever, like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we all got the Monokuma fire right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with it. But what if Makuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? Certainly you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can't you? One of many. A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. 
Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. Of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. So if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. Come to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier when I was looking at Rokura's profile, it listed her hate and weight. Only the blood on top was still wet, Panda. But we already concluded that the blood on top was the blood from the chicken. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds, wires were 31, 22, 32. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? They are indeed consistent with the corpse. Oh, okay. Huh. So it is Makuro after all? What? Or does Makuro have a twin? <sighs> I didn't expect that. I thought it wasn't Makuro. I mean, we also have that information that ultimate despair is not just one person, so I guess it could be twins. So then... And don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Our victim in this case is without a doubt Makuro Ikusaba. Eh, the tattoo could have been faked. Hmm... Is that all you wanted to ask? Yeah, I think so. And it looks like we have no further business with Makuro's body. Let's get going, it's kind of chilly in here. Oh, wait, are we not gonna put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad leaving it out like this? Sad? Did you forget she was our enemy once? A part of the ultimate despair. But she got, still got killed, she's still a victim. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but still. You really are naive, you know that? It's really quite appalling. But she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? So then. I think we've done all we can here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Uh, hold on. Still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in that locker. If I don't do it now... Hey Kyoko, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. Go ahead then, out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? So... What do you mean? Well, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? I do, yes. But to get any of the lockers, you'd need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. The one you found in the hatmaster's hidden room. So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? Found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. Why is that? What makes you say that? Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of... Uh, I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, about your father. Could that mean... That video is real too? Video? Makoto, I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a cohesive picture. Although, I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook, that way you can... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? If you watch this, it will all make sense. A DVD, and it says, Class number 78, Urgent Interviews. I found it in that hidden room after you left. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so just watch it and see for yourself. I think you realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. None of this makes sense right now. But I guess that means there's some important clue on this DVD. Hmm. Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to my ramble? 
Ramble. So as it turns out, the arrangements I'd made didn't stick. What I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. Talking about your dad, right? I can never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life, and all because of the, and all because of the mastermind. But there's one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burned with a fire of determination. The determination to defeat the mastermind. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. So why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. She let out a small laugh as she said it, but her smile was filled with sorrow. So that's it for my rambling. There's still much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. But keep this in mind. There's only ever one absolute truth. Whether that truth serves justice or suffering, whether that's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. A absolutely not, because... Because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. Anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Leaving behind that final farewell, Kyoko was gone. I'd better get going myself. I got the DVD from Kyoko. I should head to the AV room to check it out. Kyoko said something about hopeless truth. But no matter what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if it's the worst truth in the world. I can't afford to lose. Truth is, all truth is always whatever Kanan Itagaba finds. Well, I'm okay. I'm I'm very certain they went together to the school before, but they lost their memory about it. I mean, I think that's pretty much confirmed at this point. I'm confused again about the body because Kyoko said it's definitely Makuro, and I thought it wouldn't be Makuro. Maybe Makuro has a twin. Who knows? Okay, the AV room. Oh yeah, true, we haven't talked to Hina yet. Let's talk to Hina. You have... what? So this is where you've been hiding. Listen, I was hoping to talk to you. Makoto? S sorry gotta go. What? She ran up so fast I didn't even have time to ask her to stop. Hina, why? Why won't you talk to me? So where was the AV room? able to play DVDs just fine. Well then, I'd better take a look. I took the DVD Kyoko gave you and put it in the player. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the black of the monitor. It must have only been a few seconds, but to me it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Sayaka? It took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long, and there she was. The voice I heard was of the man positioned on one side of the screen, the headmaster. It was the voice of a middle-aged man. It sounds like he was trying to make a joke, but Sayaka's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract 
I do think the trial will be right after this, Sleepy. What? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, I thought they were going to school together, but then, you know, crazy ultimate despair decided to twist it into a little killing game. That's what I thought. I didn't think they knew they would be signing up for... Though I, I still don't think the headmaster wanted a killing game. I don't know. He wanted a communal life, that's for sure. But did he want a killing game too? I'm not... I don't think so, right? Can you accept that? You, you want me to accept that? Zagreb is obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. Who would agree to spending the rest of your life in the school? I accept. What? And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. So yeah, I think he didn't want a killing game, but he wanted them to live there forever, and then Ultimate Despair killed the headmaster and turned it into a killing game. But yeah, I didn't think the students knew before they would be here potentially for life. She couldn't even last. Well, no, that's actually not true, Prince, right? Because uh, apparently we've been already in the school for a way longer time. As if on cue, on cue, that's where the video cut out. There was a lot I hadn't understood up till now, but this, only this, I simply couldn't comprehend what I'd heard. Because I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know that she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. She wanted that so bad, she tried to frame me for murder, so why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor of the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. My eyes started back to the screen. And if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. She probably is gonna see himself. Yes. Huh? What I saw was me. And possibly undeniably me. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. He and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. We could have seemed so angry. But I, the I and the here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down to talk to him like this. Shall we get straight to the point? Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said yes? I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, you don't have much of a choice, do you? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. But he died. The headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. That's the very least I can do for you. It's as real as a video game. <laughs> Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Pyakia. Toko. Hina, everyone, they all said they agreed to live in the school forever, and then... Kyoko. Shiny tits. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly, without a doubt she had meet, met him. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, her father, and when he asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh. 
It wasn't just the monitor, the DVD player itself had apparently turned off, which of course meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Oh, what the heck just happened? Oopsie! Looks like it broke out of service! What? It just so happened to break just now? Now then! When doesn't matter, failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? Failure, my ass. You cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. Even if I watched the whole thing, it would be just just be more of the same. He'd ask them the question and they'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself. I let out a huge, exasperated sigh, but as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. Thinking back on it now, at that point memory was gone. At that time I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Yeah, Ames, you are right. A convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So does that mean I've lost my memory too? What about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or... It's trial time! memory was he was going to the school and next thing he wakes up in that classroom so he thought he only had forgotten about how he got to that classroom right I think that's not that unreasonable like the game started he was going to the, to the school for the first time was excited and then he fainted, like fainted from his like perspective, and then he woke up in the classroom. So he just doesn't didn't remember how he got to the classroom. So I think it's kinda reasonable that you could forget that you didn't actually just forget how you got to the classroom, for you forgot like a whole year or something. No no he just like it's just and i think it's for everyone like that they remember go uh, though makoto uh, kyoko even didn't even remember how she got to the school so for her it was obvious but the others probably still like the others had the same experience of going to the school and waking up in a classroom but um i mean it's anime but naturally of course i would be wondering how would you be able to make people forget that precisely I wonder what amnesia really feels like. I mean, I would, like, our assumptions are always like this, right? Like, what you don't know, you don't worry about, right? So, if you woke up and you still remembered what you did yesterday and you still remember who you are, a year might have passed. What, do you know what I mean? But you wouldn't probably feel it until you realize that a year has passed. Maybe they just had a sick party and everyone got super hungover and the ultimate spare aka designated driver is the mastermind. <laughs> Very well put, yeah. Do you remember what math starting, uh, remember math starting from 8th grade? This is how amnesia, <laughs> what amnesia feels like. Hmm. Yeah, friends. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. 
You know, Chad, what's the shittiest thing is? I'm hungry. But I know when I eat something, I feel horrible. <sighs> it's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair on the line. I'm thinking of ordering maybe a salad? How late is it? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna order a salad, chat. I need to eat something that doesn't kill me. But I am hungry. I need to eat something. I think I'm gonna just order a salad. I actually don't have any salad here. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm taking a moment here. I'm looking at these things and I'm like, yeah, this is fine, this is fine, this isn't fine. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling the chicken salad, but I think it's not a good idea. <sighs> the chicken isn't that bad, I guess. I guess cheese is even worse than chicken, in a way. How can you consider chicken at this time when one of them was brutally murdered? Oh, you're right. You're right. I can't consider chicken. <laughs> you're so right, apes! Oh, God. The despair. Alright. No chicken. You did it, apes. Chad was able to influence what I'm gonna eat. Congratulations, Chad. I'm very proud of you. Alright. God, I hope this food isn't gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah, we already had the theory that the chicken is the mastermind. But yeah, I hope I can eat that. It really sucks, man. I'm I'm hungry like like I've been hungry yesterday, I'm hungry today. <laughs> God. Okay, I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then, this is the end. <laughs>